dragon's blood wouldn't do us any harm. A drop of dragon's blood wouldn't do us any harm. A drop of dragon's blood wouldn't do us any harm. Cause it's the end game time. Oh, we'll roll the old dice and sing a song. We'll roll the old dice and sing a song. We'll roll the old dice and sing a song. Cause it's the end game time. Oh, a bottle of rum won't do us any harm. A bottle of rum won't do us any harm. A bottle of rum won't do us any harm. Cause it's the end game time. in the sea and dead men in the sand old salt marsh sleeps while its enemies plan best batten down your hatches there's a storm near at hand oh, we should have stayed on land oh we'll roll the old guys and sing a song we'll roll the old guys and sing a song we'll roll the old guys and sing a song cause it's the end remembers what happened last week. <laughs> last week, my friends, you at behest of the council journeyed into the dreaded mirror of dead men to investigate rumors that l the lizard folk dwelling there were arming and potentially expanding outside their normal territory. Um, these were alarming rumors, confusing to some as well, who noted that this was not typical lizard folk behavior. You found further proof of this in the ship that you captured. Three lizard folk who were, did not, uh, were not able to tell you from the smugglers, or just didn't really care that you weren't, wanted a, um, large shipment of weapons that seemed to have been stolen from the Neverwinter military. This was just further proof that indeed the lizard folk were marshalling and arming themselves in the middle of the mirror of dead men. So you left, you made your first voyage on the sea ghost, soon to be renamed, as I understand, and made your way up to the very northern parts and then took a jolly boat up the northernmost delta into the depths where after crossing down through the swamp, you came upon a secluded area, a bog, really. There was a small mound in the center upon which sat an enormous skull. Under its jagged, lifeless teeth, there was a hole descending down into darkness. And as you watched from the trees at the edge of the bog, you saw a lizard-like humanoid creature pull itself up from the muck with a spear in hand, look about, and then descend down through the skull's maw into darkness. And this is where we pick back up. Talise is with you. Talise suddenly materializes. Whoa! Yeah, she hey was guys. here for the ride in. Um, you'll yeah. know that she spent some time at the temple and sort of out of nowhere did materialize out of the sea ghost, having sort of yeah. expertly stowed herself away um, in one of the smuggling. Uh, I kind of like the idea that she passed in uh, from the, the ethereal flame magically. Because she's probably, what, like level 20 at this point? That's what happens to clerics. <laughs> I'm multi planer. That's. <laughs> Getting that in, getting that. Hey, baby, multi you multiplaner. <laughs> Why be bilingual when you can be multiplaner? I mean, <laughs> hashtag facts. DM. You heard um, it here what? first. <laughs> what? As we're standing there, um, Nether will cock her head and uh, reach out a hand to touch one of the long teeth of this creature. Would it be possible to make a nature check to see if I can recognize what manner of creature this skull belonged to. Sure. 
rolled a 12 plus 4, that's a 16. Gotcha. Um, massive incisors, and it's almost like rock, maybe even fossilized. They, it is certainly a carnivorous beast, though the skull is almost human. It, it's, it's too, it's too hard to tell at this point. Ancient and enormous, but um, you haven't heard of anything uh, recently, or really ever, that would match this. Is anybody else getting a sort of obvious front door kind of feeling from this entrance? Oh, from, I, yeah. from the entrance where we just saw somebody go? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe Is that there's a, a different. Maybe there's a different way? Do you think we should not go to the front door? I've always been taught it's polite to call on someone via their front door, so... Are we here to be polite? I thought we were here to just assess the situation. That's what we told Anders. Am I wrong? Did I misunderstand? Oh. She starts flipping through her notes. (laughs) (laughs) Something I We might just have to, um... You know, keep keep on our toes here. You never know what we're going to find. Um, I mean, if we want to traipse around through this fog for hours and hours looking for an alternative entrance, we can do that. Um, I'm just, to be totally honest with you all, I would have no idea where to start. So, so we we'll... should just go to the front door. Well, well, so we should look for the tail. That's probably the back door. And go that way. <laughs> There's a joke in there somewhere, but I'm not going to put it together. Um, don't get it. I don't about, get it. What about you, it's Melvin? Right. It's mm, Melvin? Neither do I. Um, but Serene, you're, you're right. It says here in my notes that um, we, we were told to assess the situation. Yes. First. Oh, good. Thank, I, thank you for verifying that. Yeah. Oh, oh, Mel, 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 Melvin? Mel. Yeah. I guess Hi. I just didn't see you before. Hi. <laughs> that's, that's okay. I, I tend to, you know disappear into I, the furniture sometimes. I, I don't know. That's that's the thing. I don't know. Hi. Hi. Yeah, hi. I'm Talise. Hi. Hi. I'm Melvin. Hi. Nice to meet you again. Nice to, to meet you in this weird place. Hi. Yeah. Um, well, as this is happening, there's that. <laughs> Nether is still touching the, uh, the, the tooth of the creature and she suddenly goes rigid and her eyes behind her uh, blindfold flash and begin to glow more intensely. Uh, DM, I would like to uh, scout ahead going down about 50 feet or so um, using um, Voice of the Chain Master. Hmm. All right. So you see Nether just kind of freeze and just stand there almost catatonic. Uh, Nether, you see yourself sort of uh, at a different perspective. It's strange. You move through um, what looks almost to be a giant stalactite. um, Massive. Almost the size of a house. Before you realize and look up and realize that the change of perspective is just messing with everything. Looking through the eyes of a teeny tiny creature. Disorients you for a moment. And then you continue and buzz on through and hover in front of what looks to be a simple wooden door. Um, may I make a perception check to see if there's anything there waiting for us? You may, using the proper modifiers. I shall. So, oh, I've rolled a natural one, so that's going to be a total of Four. Four. With four, you see a door. A door, indeed. But I've been wrong before. It is solid. It is a solid door. Definitely a door. That's a solid door. All right. With that, Nether suddenly comes back to herself and gasps and splashes down in the water. Nether, are you okay? (sighs) Yeah. 
I don't know what happened. I just, um, I can't explain it. Well, I think I was able to see a bit further. I, and see, I, I, uh, I don't think there's anything just within, but there is a door at the bottom. At least that's, that's what I think I saw. I suppose we'll have to okay. go down ourselves to find out if I was right. Perhaps, uh, Sarayan could lead the party down since she likes to knock on people's front doors. I do. I also am quite adept at swimming, and she jumps into the water and begins to swim down. Huh. It was my understanding that you already crossed the water <laughs> yeah. towards yeah. the yes. skull. There's no oh, water actually and in there's the no, water. There's actually the water. no water in... Sorry, there's no water in this tunnel leading down. It is simply... Sarain just really wanted water to be there. <laughs> well, no, I heard Nether say that like they fell into water, so I thought that there was water well, there's to a, fall it's a marsh. into. It's yeah. a um, mirror. It's a, a salty mm. marsh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A salty marsh. I identify with that. Mm. I too am a salty marsh. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna head to the front door. Sand water in this salty marsh. I'll follow. Okay. And I was like, I somebody write that in their notes. <laughs> so you all walk down, kind of splashing as this narrows. It gets to the point where you do have to go about one by one, following in a train back to back. And you see in front of you a rough-hewn wooden door. Should I, should I knock, or? Well, it seems pretty solid. That's not why you knock. That's... Well, but you can knock. I'm just saying. Kush, kush, kush. She knocks. <laughs> should I have checked it for traps first? Maybe. Might be a little rough getting you up to the front here, Nene. Mm. Um, so you hear, keep an, uh, um, keep an ear out. Uh, Sarayan, do you speak, um, Draconic? I do not. <laughs> okay. You hear sort of a garbled response being yelled up. Um, uh, yeah. Mach du nach danurcha, rina, naturach, richtach, nochurach. And um, you then hear splat, 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 splat. The sound of um, sort of heavy webbed feet running towards the door. I turn to the rest of the party and I say, does anyone know a language that sounds, I'm probably, I don't know what I'm doing. It sounds a lot like. <laughs> <laughs> anyone, did that, Any anyone? That's, that sounds like Draconi. Oh, are, do you speak it? Yeah, I think I, I think um, Anaris does too. Mm -hmm. Oh, she I does. Oh yeah. I think someone I behind do. the door speaks it. That's all I can tell you. What what gave it away? The it was more the. <sighs> Nether's gonna start moving towards the back of the line, just okay. feeling along the passageway, <laughs> making her right. way away. I'm she wants to be near follow. the back. I'm gonna follow Nether. <laughs> And stay behind her. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, so you see, as as you uh, report this, you see two of your comrades just kind of uh, 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 shifting towards the back of the line. <laughs> Sarayan is totally one. oblivious. So she just stays put. She's not even looking at the door anymore. She's turned and is addressing the party, telling them about the sound she heard. Yeah. And, uh, and then... You, you hear a bit of silence then from within, and uh, it, after you have been speaking for a bit, you hear, Who? Oh, Who oh, there? Hello. Would you like to say something? Do you want to take this? <laughs> I, I grab Melvin by the collar and pull him forward. <laughs> we need your front, Melvin. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, you, you can speak right. their language, I. Um, I I don't don't really know what to say, but how about hello? Just... Yeah, hi. Oh, okay. Um, no pressure. And I'll say in a really like a with an accent with a really bad twang in Draconic, uh, because <laughs> I I've never actually spoken Draconic. I've just read it and learned it. 
Um, hello there. That sounds good. You hear a... <laughs> Who are you? General Kenobi. What did he say? <laughs> Uh, he, he wants to know uh, who we are. Representatives from Saltmarsh? Well, here to just say hello. Maybe you don't add that part. Just just the representative. Oh. I think you hear, you can hear whispers before. going on behind this door to some sort of muttered um, okay. guttural speech being spoken back and forth. Um, we are representing salt marsh people are doing great invaders what did he say they, they think we're invaders I think or that's why you should have no. just said to Attackers. say hello visitors um, say hello. Uh, we not invade we are visit say you hello. hear a couple some yells on smooth skin smooth skin well done, Marvin. You've just started a war. <laughs> Everyone roll initiative. <laughs> and um, the door suddenly flings open and you see in front of all of you um, essentially a phalanx of lizard folk. They are wearing bits of skins, bit, tiny scraps of uh, rough hewn leather armor. Most of them have uh, very basic weapons pointed at you, like spears with uh, sort of flint spearheads. But a couple of them look to have, have pieced together metal armor that looks quite shiny and new. And one of them, in fact, has a sort of almost gleaming longsword at his side and a definite um, forged steel tip spear. And um, they kind of look at you, threatening. In, in, in. Um, DM, as that sight comes into semi view uh, from the way back of the line, um, I'm going to kind of make myself a tad smaller behind the lineup and um, cast. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, enhance ability on myself, so I start humming small notes under my breath very, very quietly. Probably Nether is the only one who could hear this, and my eyes shimmer briefly with sort of pink-purple. You know what you're doing, Mariah. Absolutely, my dear. Um, so that's a Eagle's Splendor for Ooh. advantage on charisma. Basically. Splendid! I thought so myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway. From the back of the line. That's it. Splendid. Okay. They still are threatening you. They're kind of indicating in. 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 Let's go. Come on, boys. Let's go. I head in. The rain kind of bows to one as she goes in. Um, they do not return the, uh, the gesture. They only hold their spears. And then in common, you walk in and you see that there are um, basically just a series of hallways here. One is branching out to your right, one to your left. And I believe, let's see. Uh, yes. Uh, well, there is immediately to your right what looks like must be like a little guard post or some such. And then further on down the way, another door the area branches out somewhere else. So I'm going to reveal to you sort of what you see on this map here. Now, as you are kind of goaded in, um, they all fall back and are sort of shouting at you in in, in, trying to sort of get you into this um, main little guard chamber in this area. As that happens, um, you see this door open here, revealing what 
seems to be perhaps a um, sort of barracks beyond. Where did we Another, come in from, DM? You came in from up here at the top. Okay. Yes. Uh, what seems to be a more battle-hardened lizard folk, if you will. His scales seem uh, uh, harder and scratched in places. He has um, a sort of scale shield strapped to his arm, and the others treat him with some uh, amount of defer uh, deferral. As soon as you are all in, the some of them will go behind and close this door. Oh, Nether doesn't like that. Nope, and uh, you see the big one says, Weapons, drop! Uh, Ooh. is that really necessary? I'd prefer not to if that's amenable to you. Invaders, <laughs> weapons, drop! We Could I keep those? one of my weapons? <laughs> Doesn't sound like they're negotiating. Okay, fine. Um, she starts to take off her weapons. What are you doing? Um, sir? Um, sorry. What's your name? If you don't mind me asking. He looks up to you and says, uh, um, Vargach. Vargach. I uh, pleasure to make your acquaintance. You, um, sorry, um, as just a quick note, oh, so um, Melvin, you recognize this as quite simply the word in Draconic for battle. It's not even ah. translated or altered at all. His name is Battle in um, Draconic. Vargach. Um, um, we want to assure you that we mean <laughs> harm in this case. All right, but hostilities on your end would lead to hostilities from us. We will not start a fight if you don't start a fight. Mariah, they might take you seriously if you're at the front of the line. And I'm, I'll sidestep a bit. Step, okay. Like, well, put her up there. Okay. <laughs> um, Nether, you don't have to be cut off from the rest of the Okay, group, thank you. Way. They wouldn't. I was they, wondering. They would have sort Jesus. of corralled you all together. Okay. Still don't want to be at the back, but all right, here we go. And you hear him. You put yourself um, at the back. You hear him bark out a few more orders, and more of these sort of regular, regularly armed lizard folks start to come out from the tunnels. And you he hear. begins to breathe very Dozens heavily. And, and dozens of voices. Oh. Are they speaking draconic? All these voices? Yes. Um, God, I don't like that. <laughs> can't hear anything. Nether backs up against Melvin and can't help herself. She casts Armor of Agathus. Okay. Some of the um, uh, lizard folk are nervous at first and they kind of back away and hold their spears closer to you, but they don't attack. They just look in fear, keeping you at um, keeping the pointy end in your direction. Hey, 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 it's, it's okay. It's okay, everyone. You can't blame a young girl for getting a little nervous around spears being pointed at her face. All right. Just I'll take it down a couple degrees. Yeah. Vardagach kind of tosses this lizard folk out of the way and steps forward and says, If battle, I win. Are we doing battle? Uh, friendly, friendly conversation, no battle. We would like to speak to your queen. He mutters a word in Draconic. Melvin, you know, is something along the lines of upstart or presumptuous. That's me, um, all right. <laughs> that, that, Mariah, I don't think they liked that very much. Not friendly. Armed. Interloper. Oh. Weapon. 
Oh, we're not make... interlopers. We knocked. We did I'll, knock. I'll make a big show of taking out my crossbow, um, unhooking the um, the string and dropping it to the floor. Burned. And he Sorry. Sorry. takes it and passes it back and to the anymore. other lizard folk. Sarayan was in the process of taking her armor off earlier. Not her armor. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. 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 It's a different kind of show! Kind of show. <laughs> um, sorry. We have, a, we have a message for you. <laughs> uh, I heard you say earlier smooth skins, and I'm here to prove that I do not have smooth skin. Um, no, so she has <laughs> taken off her weapons and just... Does someone take them from her? Does, can she hand them? Yep. If you unbuckle them, they'll kind of, yeah, run, they'll kind of nervously, nervous, nervously step forward and take the weapons away. She bows. <sighs> I'll pass over my trident. Okay. And they take it. Do the rest of you disarm? Nether just has daggers, but they're kind of hidden. Does she have a chance to keep them? Um, they are looking you up and down. Um, have you... Uh, ha so you've hidden them on purpose? No, that she doesn't walk around uh, town openly armed. <clears throat> okay. So you can keep your concealed dagger on you. Um, that is up to you. Talise uh, will hand over her crossbow. But okay. I'm keeping my shield. They do not seem to ask for your shield. So Melvin will uh, take his his tiny little dagger out of out of its sheath and then sort of fumble it um, as he's trying to hand it over and drops it on the floor. Do you? They will pick it up. Um, it is covered in muck now. So uh, oh. whether or not you want it back is up to you. Do you? <laughs> um, uh, do you have anything that's obviously a arcane focus? No, I just have a book. No staff? No, just a book. Okay, they don't care about the book. Nether does have a staff. It's got a jade top. It doesn't glow. It doesn't have any glyphs or anything. But ah, they will demand you hand it over. I can't do that. I can't get around without it. She needs to walk around. around. <sighs> she can't see. You help, then. So you still want the staff, then? Sarayan looks Not. to M Mariah. What have you done to us? Trying not to kill a bunch of people. What do you think? Um. Well, we've given you all our weapons, and apparently also the staff of a blind girl who needs it to get around. Can we please see your queen? Mm. You come. You wait. And they indicate for you to move into this sort of barracks area that they have. And there is did uh, disarm too. Okay. She threw. Never, are you it, keeping but... the concealed dagger? Um. Yes, I am. Okay. So they all ask you all to move into this room here. There is a table. This whole place is kind of has a reptilian aroma to it. There is the scent of old fish. There is also that sort of must that you might recognize as, uh, um, as being around, um, well, anytime you've been around a large reptile. It's kind of pervasive. Um, there are scents of... Um, cooking meat uh, that waft through as well as sometimes you get almost a whiff of potentially an exotic spice uh, as well as almost a sour fermented sort of vinegary smell that just kind of constantly wafting throughout. Yes, Nether. Would you please identify who among these lizard folk have the weapons you spoke of earlier? Hmm. Um, a 
a pair of three of them, bundle them together. No, I mean specifically had the weapons. You talked about how some of them had flint tip oh. spears and that sort of thing. I want to know which ones have the weapons that are actually of good make so that when we kill them, we can take them. Great, great. Um, blue have um, nicer weapons. Um, and there is, you hear then, um, they ask you to wait, and this one, um, uh, Vargach, starts to have an argument with another lizard folk just sort of down the um, hall here. Are you, Melvin, I imagine? Can I are hear you what to... they're saying? Make a perception check. Sure. Um, ooh, that's a natural 18 plus 3 is 21. Uh, that's very good. You can hear um, the, the argument is off of two points. First off, um, there is talk of spies, um, enemies, interlopers, that type of thing. Um, not ally. There is that sort of discussion, well, maybe it could, maybe they, maybe they are true, and there is then this disagreement as, no, they only, they only hunt us, they only ever hunt us. Then there is the second argument, which is an argument whether they take whether they should summon at the moment the priest to um, or the minister as they call him to advise on what to do at this moment or excuse me I'm looking for the um, name which has slipped my mind or 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 well, you are looking at can the Nether second. Sort of... It's basically the lieutenant, the second in command. Um, is, it, is his name yes. Crack and Dice? No, his name is not Crack and Dice. But That's um, a good I'm name. certain he rolls them. He would not have been able to get to such a prestigious position if he used smooth any, anything else. Uh, Yurtosh, Yurtosh, is the other um, name, which again, um, strangely enough. Uh, Melvin you hear that and you think that just means um, I actually forgot what that one means but it has a just very um, I think it means green actually so, yeah Can, is there a table here that Nether could sort of begin to sort of scooch under sure there is there is a long table. Um, there are scraps of meat, a couple empty, uh, what look like sort of basic clay vessels being used as both cups and bowls. Um, some are filled with uh, water, some with what looks like must have been uh, some type of stew. And uh, I don't like all this, guys, at all. Is anybody yeah. armed? Technically, armed. I am, because I didn't give them my mace, which is hidden under my cloak. I have a violin. <laughs> I have a few She's spells. She's armed and, with her uh... devastating witch. <laughs> well, <laughs> guys, what can I say? It isn't D&D &D if you don't take a chance. Um, Nether is going to use Fey presence and try to charm the lizard folk that are in 10-foot radius and say, well, now that you've got our weapons, don't you think you should give us yours? <laughs> it's only fair. Oh my god. It's a DC 13 wisdom saving throw for everyone that is in 10 feet of nether. All right. Does that include Nasa Does that include your, um, no. <laughs> your allies? <laughs> no. I gotcha. Okay. Um, let's get some saving throws. Wait, actually, no, it does. Uh, you can cause each creature in a 10 foot cube from you to make a wisdom saving recover charmed or frightened. Raised. So that includes everyone else, but. All right. You know. So that includes then Prion and Talise and 
Melvin and, and Nerys. I have so a, a, don't, a don't appreciate it. that. Three of us get advantage. <laughs> yeah, against Charm. Mm -hmm. I like, rolled a 16 and a 15. You have Just saved. Wisdom. You don't find Nether particularly charming from underneath her little squat here in the, under the table. <laughs> it's like, they're not that charming. Um, for what it's worth, while this is happening, Sarayan has ventured over to the uh, lizard folk in the corner that appears to be sitting down as in trying to like engage in conversation with the lizard folk. I watch. Uh, yeah, as this is happening and you can't hear you, Peter. Time to... Sorry. Dynamic mics, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> right, so it's a 10 foot cube. So. Oh, it's a 10 foot cube. cube so so it's going to be. Yeah, that's right. I, keep, I, I made this mistake last time. Ooh. 10. Let me just double check. 10 foot cube from you. So. That's not, that doesn't mean radius, right? It's not yeah, like it 10 doesn't. foot around. It's like no, a square it's... that I choose. Yep. So you so could get the four in said, front of you, potentially. Yeah, I like those four. The, and you said, is that where our uh, the bundle of our weapons are? Yeah. Uh, uh, they, so in the process of this, after they started arguing, they have been carried away down okay. the Okay. They, they've, they've, so they have our taken weapons are them away. Out of view. Gotcha. Yes. So do I need to roll a whiz check, a uh, whiz save? No, I guess not. If I, if it's those four right there in the in the corner, um, that only targets okay. those four, and it doesn't get the rest of you. Okay. Very important is, distinction there. Cube. This not brown radius. and gold flaked one looks like a perfect one to roll here. So. One. Fail. DC fourteen. You said thirteen. Thirteen. Oh. The one furthest back here is not phased. The other three kind of stare at you. And what, in the flavor, what does this look like when you use your Fey Presence, by the way? What would everyone else see who is not in the range of effect? So as I'm sitting there in the middle, there would be a slight green glow, um, but I would have it uh, emanating from my hands and I'd put it down into the muck and it's just going to sort of move through the, the dirt, sort of like um, vines moving towards those four on okay. along the bottom. So if they're looking at us, they might not see it. Okay. Um, so that that happens. There was this law, this conversation between Nether and she starts to cast a spell. We've had a, a bit of time um, that Saray and you would have been able to get a couple brief words in with the one in the corner. Um, who is actually simply sitting there kind of looking terrified like they just were in the wrong corner at the wrong time they are unarmed and they are just standing there uh, holding actually what looks like a pitcher of water and then um, sort of a bag that seems to be dripping this sort of brownish liquid but you can also see this steam rising from the top of it almost like they were transporting um, whatever stew this was in this kind of bag it just sits there with its back against the wall looking very terrified you're muted I was speaking uh, a language that only this particular lizard no I'm just kidding <laughs> I was muted <laughs> So Sarayan looks at this lizard folk and says, Oh, what a what a homey dining hall this is. Do you do you like living here? She gives a winning smile, or at least what she perceives to be a winning smile. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> okay. To him, to him it's more like a growl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, showing teeth as sign of aggression. <laughs> I'm aggressing this lizard folk. Using my Kraken dives. Whoop doop. Oh, okay. So I rolled a tin, but let's see how persuasive I am. I am plus four, so 14. 14. Yeah, they relax. They calm down just a bit and uh, look at you and say, Yes. Oh, good. Good. It's. It seems very warm and comfortable. Mm. Mm. Have, have you lived here your whole life, or are you from somewhere else? 
I'm Whole from life. the ocean. Whole life. It's my first Whole time life. above the 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 ocean, so it's my first time on the surface. So I'm just like trying to I'm trying to learn about new people and places and so do you do you enjoy the the marsh? Yes. Okay. Many do you mind if I foot. write this down? No. Here for alliance. You're here for what? Here for alliance, it asks you. Yes, yes. Here for Why alliance. Why bring smooth skin? Oh. Why trespass? And you see it's starting to get a little bit more upset. Oh, no, Clearly no, no, Clearly thinks no, of no. you as an invader, though seems to regard you a little bit differently um, and is looking between this whole group. It looks accus- accusingly at um, Mariah and at um, Prion, I'm saying, certainly I'm at Daenerys sure. and very certainly at uh, Melvin. Um, well, if, if it's any consolation, if it makes you feel any better, uh, these particular smooth skins have been fine. They have been helpful and not not mean or aggressive. They're attached to their weapons, it's true, but I think that's just a smooth skin thing about them feeling probably afraid of things without weapons. You know, they're not as strong Thanks, as Saran. <laughs> Can you are you in this conversation, girl? I'm sitting literally right next me? to you and <laughs> I inject We're right myself into you. all conversations as a rule. <laughs> and I was like, Five feet. <laughs> Sorry. <And as> the, <laughs> so you say this, and they it kind of shakes its head in confusion, and kind of turns and looks, uh, hoping to maybe sort of walk through you all and just get out of this corner that it's been stuck I'm in. Just um, sort of like stop him slightly. <laughs> Talking uh, to me. Who who are you at war with? Um, cannot. No. He now. It's now um, evident that many of the other lizard folk are looking at this one and saying, just, eh, fuck, eh, just well, get out, nice like, get, get the heck out know. of there. <laughs> and Hooray so it and does. <laughs> and about this point, they, um, they, you know, make a path for this one to pass by, and then they hold their weapons at the ready once again. Um, and at about this point is when um, you hear the argument outside, and then Nether your spell begins to... Um, uh, you, or your magical energy begins to emanate from you. Three of them in front of you seem to be quite affected. And then, um, but it is noticed, this energy, as this, um, uh, the other one says, yells out something in Draconic in alarm um, and pointing accusingly at you. Um, well, I would like the three that have been affected to calmly walk forward and put their t- their weapons on the table. Okay, they do. And you see there is this massive confusion as some of the others um, um, just look at them saying, What? And they're like, what are, you, what are you doing? What are you doing? And then, um, and then I would like them to walk as far away from um, the, the weapons as they possibly can within six seconds. All right. They uh, begin to walk away. You see this, um, the leader here grabs one of them by the neck and just throws him down onto the ground and then walks forward and um, uh, points in your uh, uh, um, direction and says, uh, essentially, Conjurer! Do you provoke us to battle? No, not at all. Nether, what is going on? Um, I'm very scared. Then maybe come to the back of the room where it's a little less right in front of the people who could definitely kill us. We don't want to provoke anything. We're here to talk. Bring, Bring the priest. Oh, boy. Bring forth. And they, uh, he walks forward and he points at you, Nether. He points at all of you and says, You will answer to Queen 
But this one, a cell. As he points to Nether. I stand up at that point. I don't think so. If you're looking for battle, you just say the word. We're here to be friends. Put your hand on her, and I'll stick my trident, which he can't see because it's not even on me, through your throat. Make an intimidation check. Minus one. I rolled a 17, it's a 16. All right, pretty good. Um, let's see what we got here. Um, oh let's see what he's got here. Um, he has a... He has a 16, 15 on the die, and he looks towards you, his eyes narrow menacingly, and says, and he says, More misstep. We, uh, and he says, and we battle. He we looks should. very much on edge at the moment. Um, he calls, he yells out another um, phrase, and you see probably the um, corridor over here is filled um, with maybe about a dozen lizard folk. You hear more voices beyond this door and here. Um, those of you with um, passives 14 plus, just listening around, hearing them gather, think that the hive has been stirred by this point, and there are probably about a dozen of them down about every cor corridor. Uh, you sit there in this silence for a moment, and then a the figures part. They actually um, make a little bit of a make a tunnel for something else to approach. They hold their spears out even further towards you, backing you even a bit more into the corner as this um, one has left and walking up very slowly is a sort of elderly looking um, uh, uh, lizard folk his scales are have smoothed somewhat some of them have cracked he looks um, as I said, rather old, and his eyes have a bit of a milky appearance, like he can't quite see. He is hunched over, and his jaw kind of hangs open when he talks. He, around his neck, is a enormous golden necklace. And oh my as, God. He looks, <laughs> as he moves forward to regard all of you, a tongue flips up over an eyeball, a milky eyeball. Yeah. Oh, yeah! <laughs> You have trod far. Why do you come to my home? Well, um, we've heard some concerning tales, and we wanted to speak with you directly about them and ensure that there is no need for concern amongst neighboring communities and um, hopefully make sure that everything remains peaceful in the area. You come on behalf of Saltmarsh. That's correct. You represent them officially. That we do. <clears throat> we will bring you before our queen now very much appreciated thank you so much Sarayan bows graciously <clears throat> and he looks at you <clears throat> Triton yes what tithings do you bring everything is well everything's fine <clears throat> you speak false 
and he turns and walks uh, and walks away. You are all then led at spear at dozens of spear points through sort of the inner to the inner areas of um, the wizard folk lair, which is large and sprawling till you are brought to a set of double doors. DM, can you clarify, did he say tithing or tiding? He did say tithings. Okay. Though, whether or not this is a, um, this, that's also a very, an expression that you wouldn't necessarily expect a lizard folk to say. It's something that any human of authority or of political position that you've encountered has said upon seeing a triton on land. Um, very odd for a lizard folk to be saying it. Um, Sarayan is completely taken aback by the assertion that she speaks false and wants to uh, investigate further <laughs> with our new unnamed friend. As he does not... Um, he does not speak. They only beckon you forward. Um, you hear a short argument where um, you will hear the sort of lieutenant requesting that Nether be taken away, um, but it is dismissed, and um, uh, they they say they will. Um, the guards will be in the throne room. Is kind of the response. They will be. There is no. Um, there is no cause for concern. And as you are brought before a great set of double doors, um, some guards kind of move and sort of begin to search you more closely. Sort of uninvited, um, webbed, clawed hands start clawing at your sides, at your packs and stuff, just searching through your belongings. Yeah, my friend will take my dagger off of me and keep it in his possession. Interesting. Have So there will be a time when it needs to pull it out from wherever you are and transit. Make a, um, it is invisible, so make a sleight of hand check with advantage. You are muted. Muted. Do best muted. Still muted. I rolled the two big d20s from Kraken Dice. Uh, the larger of the two was a 15 plus 4 that is 19 it seems to have gone unnoticed so your little friend is indeed buzzing around with an invisible dagger which is probably like a human carrying a giant's uh, two handed sword <laughs> on my shoulder <laughs> okay yep <laughs> Uh, does anyone else have any concealed weapons or things that might be mistaken as weapons? Uh, can I say no? <laughs> Do my looks count as a weapon? Oh, well, yes, hey. but they could not disarm you of that. It looks could kill. Not without it getting messy. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I guess they could. That's, uh, that's a good point. Oh, okay. uh, what? Uh, no, no, I do... I do technically still have my small mace. And two, my two daggers that I have. I mean, we just didn't want to give those things away. Melvin has a small paring knife that he uses to sharpen quills. <laughs> Melvin's my Classic favorite. Melvin. <laughs> Probably not quite big enough to be classified as a weapon by them. Um, Jade, I saw you were talking, but I could not hear you. Because I was muted. I've got javelins and a dagger. Uh, I've got a oh, net will. as well. Will the nets be taken off me? Yes. Okay. Yep. They are I familiar with net dagger. combat. So that will be a net negative for you. Oh, that's <laughs> a, so so they, like, they know how bad it is as well, yeah? Uh, yeah, they do. But do, wait, do I get now, to keep my, my mace because it's hidden? Your mace? Where are you hiding? Yes, it's like, do you know how big uh, a mace is? Glad you asked. Way? It's underneath you... my cloak. I just never took my cloak off. I underneath gave them my crossbow, which I was wearing. Cloak. They oh, will find it, cloak. and you will be quickly surrounded and um, sort of angry, upset green hands will all demand you hand it over. <laughs> it's helping hands. 
they then um, uh, sort of berate you with no end of um, series of threats about behaving before the queen, before opening the grand double doors and revealing a throne room. There are two sets of, and we are down here at the moment. There are two sets of three pillars flanking a central area and over to the left here, you can see actually two little lizard folk hatchlings are playing in the corner. Um, you will notice too, as you come in, um, as, as you are being escorted down this hallway before you reach the double door, a couple other smaller doors opened and you saw what looked to be almost like commoners just staring out, looking at you with curiosity. And some of them down by their knees, you could see little hatchlings, little babies, uh, little and even adolescent lizard folk kind of poking their heads out in your direction, watching you. The door opens and they usher you in and sitting upon the throne. Um, or this throne is um, bedecked with carvings of uh, reptiles and uh, glints of reflected light hint barely at the presence of um, inset gemstones. The heads of several creatures hang on the walls, mounted on wooden plaques displayed as trophies. Hammerhead sharks, um, larger sharks, a giant sort of crystalline looking lobster, um, a terrifying looking bug with giant red eyes, dozens of, or, you know, um, well, a number of very strange hunting trophies all mounted on the wall here. Um, and you are brought before Queen Othokent. Thorain immediately bows very deeply. I will follow suit. Everyone will do the same. Just ahead. The, the other tries to disappear, but she can't. Melvin looks around and sees everyone else bow bowing and gives, gives a short bow. Okay. She seems pleased by this. And then um, speaks. The uh, <laughs> the, uh Sauriv has come and is now standing. Let's find this. Is, is it actually now really standing him? next to her? And has whispered a few things into her ear. An alliance with Saltmarsh, you say? Is this is most unusual. This is the queen speaking? Mm-hmm. At this point? Okay. Um, at the very least, um, a hope that there are no future hostilities between the two communities. Um, we've gained some information recently that, um, your community is uh, seeking to gather weapons. And uh, we would hope that those weapons would not be used against us, but if there is something that is causing you concern, maybe we can help. She looks and down and then looks towards Saurive. She looks towards Saurive for a moment and then looks back at all of you and says, When have lizard folk ever attacked Saldmarsh? You haven't. In my studies, I, I read that you had never, you're a peaceful people. Hello, my name is Saray and I'm visiting from under the sea. She makes sort of a clicking, growling noise as she looks at you and then Strange company you keep. As I she looks of, suspiciously towards the humans and half elves. I kind of fell into the group, but they're nice. <clears throat> they're trustworthy. If we were defending ourselves, would you prevent us from doing so? 
I think the question is more that... If I is... ask the questions in my own throne room, child. I wouldn't. A child, but that's okay. Personally, um... prevent you. I think that there's just... I asked you a question, smooth skins. Ah. Smooth skins, okay. We would not want to prevent you from arming yourself against a real and present threat. I think, however, as a leader of a people that you wish to protect, you would understand that someone else who is in a similar position would be concerned if their neighbors are gathering up arms and they don't know the reason why. Such things have been done to start wars in the past, and while the lizard folk have not aggressed before, we just want to ensure that that remains the case. Would it concern you so much that you would steal what is rightfully ours? What do you mean? Would you steal from us because of your concerns? No. That is your answer. That's my answer. Serene kind of looks around. <laughs> you speak falsely. I don't speak for the group. I speak only for myself. I know who you are. I know you took what we rightfully purchased. And under the circumstances, we would be happy to return them to you if we understand what the situation is. The people you made the deal with were people who directly harmed us and our community. Anything that they possessed was a threat to us. I understand that. Well, actually, make first make a persuasion check. I will do so at advantage. Oh my god! That spell before. Oh. That was the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> what? <laughs> the immediate switch. I had just okay. No wait. No wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's how uh, you order Starbucks drinks. Sixteen oh. plus six is twenty-two. She looks towards um, Sauri, who just kind of nods, and she looks around her throne room. Which of those two do you think will grow the strongest? As these two little sort of hatchlings, barely the size of um, maybe just barely a foot and a half high, are kind of um, wrestling with each other and just playing, um, sort of fighting over a little ball in the corner. Is there any discernible difference between the two? Uh, not that really that you can see. They all look almost identical. Well, at least to my eyes, and to be fair, I'm not familiar with wizard folk. They're both young and have potential. I could not possibly hope to guess the extent of their full potential. <sighs> You have made a mistake in judging us too quickly. However, you seem to have wisdom and have not aggressed upon us. So I offer you a chance for penitence to offer my people a gift. Then we can talk of alliances and the true threat. Yes. Look to the group seems reasonable to me. What would, they, what would they want details. as a gift? Yeah. Yeah. What kind of gift? Are we talking like a blood sacrifice? Because that might not be. So yes. Good. 
We don't really like Melvin that much. Why don't we give him a chance? Oh, no. I don't know what she's saying. Lewis, so I guess we could. That one would be no feast. She I'm says. Joking. Your Highness, if I may. <laughs> she laughs and then says. That's creepy. Deep in the swamps to the south, there lies a creature called Thousand Teeth, whose hunger has driven him to madness. Hunt the great lizard, bring his head for my throne room, and his carcass that we may feast upon his noble flesh. Do this. Prove your penitence. That sounds fine to me. Very well. The ray and bows, and I pledge to do this. Can you give these we... guys their weapons back? Yeah, do we get yeah, our weapons we back get our weapons for that? Back? I've already it's got mine. It's kind of hard mine. to kill a lizard. <laughs> I say, I've already got mine, and mine just okay. summons to my hand. Thank you. We'll do this for you. <laughs> you are very quickly Show surrounded, uh, some guards <laughs> with... Actually, these have... Uh, never winter tower shields and uh, he's not showing any aggression above them and kind of I'm not showing any aggression in front of her <sighs> arrogant let's go sort of get this job done for you no yes you will have your weapons as you leave go would you like me to have this one back over oh my gosh Prion <laughs> Prion thanks I think you made your point let's go Bring us a meal or be one yourselves. Go. That sounds like a great idea. Let's go, guys. You heard her, Melvin. Let's go. The rain bows backwards out of the room. Who's going to make sure we even come back? Uh, I'll follow Talise. I'm like, let's just get the hell out. <laughs> Don't worry, Melvin. I wasn't really going to hand you over. Oh, just, that's 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 good. I, I just didn't want to see your eaten. legs shake a little bit. Yeah, they were shaking, all right. This is the stupidest thing we could have ever done. Yeah, that's accurate. What should that's we have accurate. done differently? Um, once once we sort of make our way through the passages, I don't want to say anything before we get out. <laughs> um, yeah, so do we collect our things? And yeah, make they will okay. uh, bring awesome. your things uh, near that sort Wonderful. of entry guard chamber and allow you to leave. I mean, fighting one bog creature seemed, I don't know, maybe easier than fighting an entire hive full of lizard hope folk. Oh, lizard especially folk. when they're in their midst, that's for sure. No, you saved but our, you saved our skins, Maria. Yet again, I, thank I, you. I mean, yes, I agree. Uh, that was the only way for us to get out of there in one piece. But this creature, they can't kill it, and its name is Thousand Teeth. It's another lizard folk, isn't it? That's just been driven insane? I think Who it's knows? just a lizard. Oh. Well, we I made the right choice. put the head of a lizard folk in that throne room. They Something called a it a great impressive. lizard, so it's probably bigger than a lizard folk. But I, I, yeah, I, I don't think it's a lizard folk. I so see. As, a, as we walk out, I sort of touch the teeth of the skull again. Maybe something more like this. Yeah. I think now there's... <laughs> that only has what? One, one two, three, four, ten, twenty teeth? <laughs> That's so. That's so maybe that's it's fine. not a literal name. I bet you it <sighs> is. I bet it has rich. a lot of teeth. And now we have to go fight this monster and do their dirty work for them. Well, to be honest, the foes under the sea are much more formidable than the ones that you have up here on land. So I feel uh, confident that with the training I've received, that we're going to be just fine. No, no, wait, wait, wait a moment. Maybe, maybe we should have a conversation with this one too not fair to just assume that it's the big nasty thing that the lizard folk think maybe maybe we should try and negotiate with that too what do you think Sarai? um well i know that what the queen has ordered us to do so that we may maintain our deal with anders is that we have to go after thousand teeth in the South Marsh and kill Thousand Teeth. And I mean, but I don't know. I'm going to have to think about this. But if it's a person or. Well, well, it has, maybe it has children. Another. 
Why are you just asking me? Why is it my decision alone? Well, you said you could take it down yourself, so maybe we yeah. should get around here and rest. And I didn't say I could take it down myself. You just... said you thought you could do it pretty easily because it's nothing compared to what you saw in this under the seat. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, that is accurate. I did say that. Okay, so then we're just gonna wait here for you. Okay, or, see you later. Or <laughs> I'm gonna grab Saraya by the cloak. Do you wear a cloak? I don't know what you wear. Something, I do not wear a cloak. <laughs> something grabbable okay. is grabbed. Sure. <laughs> I think a that flim. we should not flim. send <laughs> our compatriot Sarayan off to face a toothy monster on her own. But she's okay with it. It was her Stop idea. Stop teasing the girl. Come on, let's travel. <laughs> um, did they tell us where, where we're supposed to go? South. Mm. If the this thing mutters. can be, that's descriptive. That's like most of them. The Under her breath, from us. <laughs> Elise isn't very nice. <laughs> Closes sure. her journal. <laughs> Did I hear that? She just, oh, she, wrote she is so obtuse. Everyone heard it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going yeah. to knock the journal out of her hands. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's, uh, that's two for two characters now from you, Ch Chael, who hate on journaling. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. We're, not about me, journal fans. We're not journal fans in this group. Ryan, if you're watching, we love you. Sarayan <laughs> picks up her journal, looks down, I'm assuming, <laughs> at <gasps> um sorry, Anaris. I was called you Talise, but that's not correct. <laughs> looks at Talise and says, Well, luckily for me, this has been waterproofed, and she shakes off the muck and walks away. <laughs> Uh, me. And I'll walk to stand beside Talise. That does raise an interesting question, though. Where did a Triton learn to write on paper with ink? Do you think it's squid ink? Do you I think it's know. all organic? It really doesn't and matter what kind of ink it is. Herself? How would what she is... possibly write anything underwater? How does she Maybe. even keep the ink in the bottle? They probably that have their own like ways kind of down questions there. that I don't want to address until I have at least two drinks in me. Um, let's go. Okay. Okay. You are heading south. They will have give you given you general directions, and they say that there are two paths. One by water, which they prefer to take. Um, but was the uh, and one by land, which is where. The last group of lizard folk went to try to um, battle this. It was a test of honor. They failed and were a meal for the creature. Um, so there is a path by water and a path by land. For you, and it would be it by sea. <laughs> very much waiting to take the one path, but the land way is longer. Hmm. I vote by land. I can feel things moving around my legs as we walk through this. I also vote by land, but not for that reason necessarily. Sure, whatever, let's go. Each step you take in, the, <laughs> in some of this, as you, sometimes you do have to go into knee deep water regardless as you, I don't know if you've ever walked through like uh, sort of boggy water, but you can, you think you've hit the ground. And then as you lift your other foot, you have to kind of pull your foot out of the muck. And any time it comes out of the top of the water, you get this sort of silty, sandy, black um, uh, soil all over it, which just reeks of everything that has died at the bottom of this water. It is a strange, the place is full of life, but the death below the surface is much, is very present and always um, the, the scent of decay is pretty ever present. Now, you continue the way by land, and soon enough you reach what seems to be an old set of ruins. Um, there is a series of um, some pools of water, and the water in front of you starts to change. Go ahead, Nether. How long? <clears throat> it is about two hours. Armor of Agathis is gone. As there's enhanced ability. And you walk, and you walk, and you walk, and find a 
pool of water. Uh, it's sort of a, this circle of area around you where the water is starting to look black. It was marshy, it was gross before, but now there's something wrong with this area that you are coming to. The water is oily and slick. Nature chick? Sure. Another kind of puts her hand into the water and pulls it up and rubs it between her fingers and rolls a 14. So that's an 18. Okay. Um, this is, this does not seem, um, well, this, there's almost this, um, foul smell that you think of as nature 18. That's good. Um, that reminds you of sometimes if meat went rancid at the bottom of a ship, that's something that mice even, and the rats even sometimes stayed away from, um, just full of bacteria and rot. Um, that's kind of what this is, as if there's a much higher concentration of um, animal organic matter that is decomposing somewhere nearby that is leading to this sort of um, just terrible, awful film of sort of uh, fat and decay. That's How dangerous would it be to have an open wound in this water? It is likely an uh, open wound. Um... Hard to say. It wouldn't. It would. It would hurt. Probably. Likely become infected, but probably not immediately. Um, so not like instant hurt disease. you. Not, or not venomous in any, or anything like that. But not in would, any danger of poison or disease. It would be terrible to ingest. Huh. I look around. Right. And now, as you are going to, uh, what's that? Can I? I look around and see if I can see Olak, my seagull. Um. Yeah. He is circling above. I'll try to reach out through my mind and ask him if he can take a look around for us. All right. Did, have did him make that, a. Uh, that work. Have him make a perception check through his senses. Um, are we treating him like he's an owl? There's no seagull in the book, I don't think. Uh, for now, let's. That's fine. So that'd be advantage on perception then. Thank God as well. I rolled a five and a nineteen, so I don't know what his plus would be. Okay. Um, well, either way, that's going to be good enough. He will look up and, <clears throat> well, depending on what you roll, is what he sees. Could someone please um, roll a uh, uh, d one hundred, please, for the rep for the whole group? You gonna so do it? Teresa with your cracking dice. Teresa looked excited about that. Get them. in there, I girl. Did, but I put away all my other dice, so I have to... I, 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 I did as well, out. so... Oh, you son of a gun. In time, look at this other bag from cracking dice. <laughs> Just the 100? It's got more dice in it. Yeah. A D100. D100 in my tray. Oh, I got a 30. A 30. Did you roll one dice or two dice? One. So you got to roll the other one two. with it as well. Oh, I can throw it on the floor. That's how great the dice are. They survive being thrown on the floor. Like an Otterbox. They're strong. Yeah. <laughs> We're not sponsored by Otterbox. Sponsored by <laughs> Otterbox. <laughs> I got a seven. 37. 37. Oh, so those right. in chat, we are doing a giveaway. We are sponsored by Kraken Dice, the wonderful Kraken yes. Dice. If you would like to win some dice yourself, we're giving away two sets, one at half time and one at the end. So exclamation mark giveaway to enter. Okay, as you, um, as he flies up around, he says that, um, right, your seagull says that it sees a large creature um, lumbering about a quarter mile off, kind of walking in your direction, occasionally plunging its fists down into the ground. What? What sort of creature? I say that out loud, still struggling creature? to learn. 
how to communicate. It with says it. very big. It's a, he says he sees a, a big creature up ahead, about quarter mile. Who he? My. S oh. I look to Melvin. F familiar? This that's what it sounds like. It sounds like you've got um, a, a seagull familiar. Quarter mile's about too far off. It wouldn't have been able to see it that. Think more. I'm sorry. Think more about 250 feet. It's close. Okay. Yeah. I lied. It's a lot closer. Oh, great. My seagull's a bit great. stupid. That's <laughs> fair enough. And you all can see um, it says it's eating. It's fishing. It's eating. And you all can hear suddenly a large cracking sound that echoes through the marsh. And as your seagull says that it's finding um, what seem to be giant crustaceans far beneath the surface here and pulling them up and <sighs> crunching down on them. It says three, it's at least three times as tall as you. Three three times as tall as me. Maybe taller. A any any idea? Maybe it's what we're looking for? I, I was going to say, sounds like a giant five gold pieces. Me. Has it got a thousand teeth? Uh, nope. It, the gull will report that it has probably about as many teeth as you. I have no idea what this creature could be. It's in a, is it a lizard? Did you ask if it's a lizard? I don't, uh, is it a lizard? Is it is, coming I, towards right? us? You would then hear a... Oh. I just said yes. It sounds like it's, it's at us. Anyone who's got... A shield and a sword better move to the front. I'm at the front. Aha. Don't worry, Nether. <laughs> also, will move to the front if not already there. Nether begins to move towards the back. I'm following Nether. Prepares to cast following. a spell upon um, view of something <laughs> large <Right>. and lizard like. <laughs> large you see this sort of lumbering form start to make its way through the um, mists. And you hear another large crack as a giant jaw sort of unhinges itself and then closes on what looks to be um, the uh, abdomen of a large crayfish. The crayfish probably being about the size of one of you. It cracks it in half and then its eyes look up. <sighs> And you see lumbering towards you this sort of um, giant-like creature, um, sort of what looks to be a cross between a giant and a goblinoid. Huge arms at its side, and it just rips a tree branch off of one of these nearby mangroves and raises it above its head. <laughs> a wicked smile comes on its face as it charges, splashing through the muck towards all of you. They we will roll initiative troll. and it's a titan. fight this creature in a moment. But first, we're going to take our break oh, and I give away some dice. Um, so, as I said before, um, this enormous <laughs> not beaver <laughs> emerges I like from beaver. the marsh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wish it could be, but um, but it, it in fact looks quite um, of like it is of giant heritage. And we have rolled, rolling ourselves initiative. It has just about trounced up to about um, 35 or 30 feet from you as you have time to react now before it continues its charge towards you. Roll initiative for it, and we are off to the races. It is very fast. Having rolled a natural 20. No. on its initiative. So, my friends, tell me, who's in the front line right now? So, I did say I was holding a spell. Did that, did that actually work out? We can't work hold out? actions outside. I that. know that. You know something is about to come up. He knows you're there. It's all about who's quicker to the draw, and that's all based on decks and dice. So, Decks and dice and decks and I'm dice at the front, and, and I, take, I try to take the full brunt of it. All right. Who else? Because I'm going to roll for this one because he's he's just looking for a meal. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sounds like Talisa's up front. Nope. 
Delice is up front. Delice is up front. Serayan regrets everything. How about Serayan? Is Serayan up on the battle lines here, being brave with? You better be there with me. Uh, I always got dragged up. I rolled a one, so I feel like no. <laughs> it's just about your formation. You know danger is coming. All right, well, Ooh. let's get in formation. Serene's up front. Yeah. All right. Serene and Priyan, it sounds like. All right. So I'm yeah, I'm right behind them. Here. What a coincidence. <laughs> the sea creature that, sorry, you, you, you are a sea creature as well, Priyan. I'm not discriminating against you, but you're half. So you, uh, is. Serene is the Kraken and Priyan is the one. Oh, I'm number one. Who the next meal is. Yeah, you are. Unleash the Kraken, baby. You are number one. And you see this thing again, rip almost half of a tree off as kind of the club. Um, and then just sort of, actually it doesn't. Um, it, and then it just kind of whips it in your direction, going off and cascading over your head and then just takes its long claws and starts to reach out towards you looking for a meal. First, it's going to um, Freaky. try to grab you twice with its claws. Two attacks coming at you. I have a 16 and a 12. Both of them miss. miss. And then I have a 26 on my bite. Missed. Oh no! Yeah, oh, no. right. <laughs> it leans down and ugh, this giant jaw opens. You're barely able to keep your entire body from, you know, um, slipping beneath this. Um, uh, beneath these jaws, but you take nine points of piercing damage as its bite does find its way, wraps around your arm and sinks through the armor a bit. Ouch. And that's it. I'm All sorry. right. That's on, we're on to Inaris, who is next up. This giant troll has just um, strawed <laughs> strawed? I don't know if that's a word. <laughs> Rode It's at least as much of a word as rolled. It has strode no out of the march and marsh and has sunk its teeth around your friend's arm. I'm going to immediately cast Toll the Dead on that thing. Is that a wisdom save or a... Wisdom save. I'm good at these. I have a four. <laughs> is the target missing any of its hit points? It is not. It is fresh and hungry and... It's been eating crab all day. It's <laughs> That is eight points of damage. Ooh, a max Body damage hit. toll the dead. You hear the bell ring out and you see its eyes sort of actually start to glow a bit more red and then they go a bit oh. cross-eyed and it uh, kind of pounds its own fists on its head trying to get this ringing sound out of its head and then its eyes settle on you. Prion, it has just sunk its teeth down into your arm. Oh, by the way, excuse me, Daenerys. Do you have a bonus action you would like to do, or? Do I have a bonus action I would like to do? Uh, where's my bonus action? I think I will I cannot. I think that's all I can do right now. Okay, great. Prion, it is your turn. Uh, Prion, see, clenches these teeth with the pain that comes with the bite um sends eolak in to distract him as he sends a thundering trident towards the troll du, 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 du. i have rolled will it work try it again so a thunderous trident what is happening here what are people seeing um, he just you. reaches back out and um, with the anger you see lightning crackle around the trident as he tries to thrust it forward but for some reason Ooh. I'm not rolling on that I don't know why it's not doing it Let me... there I we see go. it that one works um, okay uh, 14 to hit so that's probably a miss um, yeah and so it's kind of got its head around your arm and as you start bring the trident up it whacks it away sort of backhands it away. It nearly pierced its eye, just barely missed. Okay. And um, now we are on to I Melvin. Will... Oh, you are. You have another. Excuse uh, me. Uh, 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 let me just quickly check what my second wind feature is. I think it's a bonus action. 
Yes. Uh, second wind. Yes, I will second wind. Oh, wow. Okay, that's five back. Five points of healing. Better than nothing. It is better Melvin, than Melvin, you are up mm -hmm. as you see Prion sort of center himself and seems to regain a good deal of composure. Um, Prion, or, uh, well, Prion looks like he's got that handled, so um, I'm going to pull my book out and, and flip, to a, flip to a page, and with my bonus action, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to summon a quill, and I'm going to start writing notes about the strategies that the, the troll's using, um, and then I'm going to point the quill at the, the creature and shoot a ray of frost from the tip of the quill um, directly at the creature. Uh, hopefully that that'll, is... that'll hit. Very cool. That's a 15 to hit. 15 is what you needed. Uh, three points of cold damage, and um, its movement, I think, is reduced um, mm -hmm. slightly. Yeah, I believe you are correct. Unfortunately, it is right on the top of the frontliners of your party, so it doesn't need to yeah. move too much, but still, good to know. Um, anything else from Melvin? Um, I'll back up a little bit so I'm not too close to it. Okay. Nether. And I'm taking notes. Nether gasps as she suddenly sees in her mind a uh, view of the battlefield from above, and she falls and leans against uh, a mangrove root. She extends her staff, shaking a little bit, and she says, Akrithasilif! And a gust of mist just pops out of the water about um, 40 feet away from the troll as stepping out of it a 10 foot identical troll comes splashing towards it that only it can see and reaches out to try and take the juicy looking prion from it misses and then punches the troll claiming this area for itself and I will need a intelligent saving throw as I have cast Phantasmal Force. I have a rolled a 16 minus 2 oh, for a 14. Blast. Then it didn't work. Um, and that's kind of, my turn. You can see it um, absolutely just yelling back at the thing um, in what you must assume is a troll language. And as soon as it reaches its hand off and the thing passes through, it kind of... And its eyes sort of glow and sparkle. And then you see almost for a second a flash of um, like red horns appear and wings in the back. And red bat-like wings <laughs> flash off and... <laughs> It looks at you and shakes its head and then starts to reach towards over the group towards you. Oh, I'm far back, DM. It, I know, it does, but it but it um, kind of gets you the sense gives you the sense of I'm gonna eat you. Okay. I like, don't like that very much. <laughs> Get in my belly. Alright. Well, back here, thanks very much. Seeing this hand reaching in our, our general direction of the back line. I uh, start whistling through my teeth a series of very, very close discordant intervals and um, will shape them into his mind. Tired Brain doesn't have a better way of describing that right now. Um, I need him to make a wisdom saving throw. Um, I've got and... a two. Oh, hot shit. Okay. So you will die, will it? <laughs> Because I wasn't um, rolling with my Kraken dice. We'll see. Ah, yeah, that's yeah, clearly yeah, yeah, why. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, this is a <laughs> casting <laughs> of uh, Dissonant Whispers. Uh, and I roll. What? Holy. <laughs> I rolled max damage. So that's uh, 18 points of psychic damage. Um, wow. <laughs> in addition, he must immediately use his reaction, uh, if available, to move as far away as its current speed allows him to do. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I think that might grant a couple attacks of opportunity from our frontliners. It certainly does. 23 to hit. Trudge through the mud about 15 feet away. Yes, 23 hits. Uh, nine damage, max damage. 
Uh, it can't be that one. Uh, it is Max Damage, yeah. It's the right one, nine. One-handed. Very nice. Anyone else? I believe, Sarayan, you were up front as well. You were brave enough to yes. declare yourself as such. <laughs> you may take an attack of opportunity. Awesome. I would like... <laughs> ah, lol. Uh, eight. <laughs> eight. Um... So you were, you were in a sense, you were bracing to help defend your allies with your shield. Your intention was to help get the thing off of Prion, and so as it moves away, you were more in a defensive stance and just weren't quite ready to take that swipe. But now you are ready to assault. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, anything else from Mariah? From Mariah. I'm gonna back up further and uh, sort of give give another a sense of which way I'm, which direction I'm moving. That's all for me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Talise. Uh, okay, I was worried I was muted. Um, Talise will uh, present her shield in front of her with the symbol of Valkor on the front. Present will... Valkor! Present Arms! <laughs> Go Valkor! And she will cast Bless on the three people of my choosing, or her choosing, which would be Prion and Sarayan and Nene. All right. Um, any, how does the casting of this look? How does Therese, or how does um, Talise how does, how summon does Therese the Talise? power? Uh, it, it's very close to your name. Give me a break. It is. Talarese. <laughs> At least you didn't oh. name your familiar Jade, oh okay? <laughs> oh, it's yes. my favorite thing. It's so I amazing. love that it's so too. much. I'm honored by it, but it's not mine. <laughs> I, um, <laughs> honestly, I hadn't thought about it. I was just so excited that I was going to be a good cleric and cast Bless <laughs> instead of yes, just going in front of You better line. Bless, yes. <laughs> I will come up with something quickly. I so apologize. So, if, if you don't mind, you see the waters start to sort of churn around you, and a sort of miniature wave crests up onto you. This swamp-like water sort of crests over you, and you're like, oh, oh, no. But then you see it's perfectly crystalline and clear, and all of the muck, the flies, the filth from trudging through the swamp kind of just washes off of your clothes and your armor. You feel clean, and you feel empowered by the waters of mighty Vulcan, even here in this swamp thanks to Talise. And we move on. If that's all right with you, Talise. That's my turn. Cool. Um, Sir, uh, yes, Serayan. <laughs> Last but not least, Paladin <laughs> Initiative. <laughs> it's minus one, which I'm just like, eh, she's like, nah, fuck it. Like, she doesn't care. What's so... going on? <laughs> Are we in trouble? And so... She is now ready for assault, as you said, and she takes a swing with her long sword, but not before sending up a prayer to Persona for beep boop bop. I'm going to take one of my spell slotties and do a divine favor, which is bonus action, and it lasts up to a minute. Concentration. Oh, can you read for our viewers what this does? I you certainly are newly can. christened Oath of the Crown Paladin. Yes. So my prayer empowers me with divine radiance. Until the spell ends, my weapon attacks deal an extra 1d4 radiant damage on a hit. Cool. So yeah. you see <laughs> then this, um, this radiance start to um, whoosh, sort of echo from her blade. As you will, it has run 30 feet away. Thankfully, you have 30 feet of movement and you're right do. up next to it. So you can chase it down. <clears throat> I will and lay do that. into it with the fury of Persona. All right, let's hope I get a hit. I mean, you do have Bless. You bless. Are blessed. Four Bless is we got roll four, it 15. Did I not roll it? I thought I did. The Bless, you've got to roll. Plus oh. a D4. Plus a D4. Get a four. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, Come fingies on. crossed, guys. Fingies crossed. It was a one. Oh. <laughs> Is it still frightened, DM? <clears throat> it, it never gets frightened. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. In the condition. It's never scared. So you, um, 
you you see a right. opening and you it's it's got its back turned to you and you bring your sword directly into the spinal area you had a chance if you would have slipped between the the vertebra it would have dealt massive damage but it just impacts on the skin and then on bone and it <laughs> wheels around just looking very mad at you Summon Beaver. Summon Beaver. <laughs> oh, beaver. <Swap> beaver. <laughs> Anything else from? I, I don't think you have more action economy, Serene. I, I do not. So she says curses, and that is my turn. It but turns around. It's a new and round. Raises. It's a new round, both. and I, I just want to say massive thank you to Manx Work for donating twelve dollars. That is What's four D six inspiration. So dear, I, I wanted oh, to wait till hey. the new round. So. Um, yeah, yeah, that's perfect. So the highest do your floor macro. will get this. Um, we've got ooh. ooh some natural twenties here. Prion, you are inspired with the D six. Mariah, you were inspired with the D six, and then we have another tie for Talise and Nether. All ooh, four awesome. of you, thanks to the power of Manx Works, are Thank inspired you, with a D six. Thank you very much, mate. Manx Works. And then the troll turns around and looks at you, Sarayan. And first of all, claws at you. 23 to hit. Oh, that hits. Come A second on. claw, 25 to hit. Oh, you know, that also hits. And then as it grabs you and starts to just uh, squeeze you so you can barely breathe or even move, um, it brings its jaws down. But you're able to sort of throw up your shield at the last moment. I believe at 14 misses you, right? <laughs> it does, yeah. Okay. Thankfully, the jaws do not connect. All right. But nonetheless, you will take... Yeah, what damage am I taking? A total of 22 damage. 11 yeah, that's and 11. Very interesting. Thank you. <laughs> How oh are you doing? God. You still uh, up? You know, I am still up with a cute six hit points. Gotcha. I'm She's coming. still fighting. She's ready. Fascinating. <laughs> interesting. Tell me she more. She did say she could handle it on her own. Listen, she's learning. She's learning on her feet. She's learning through experience. <laughs> Let's all give Serene a little grace. <laughs> <laughs> so, Inaris, you see these two massive troll hands uh, wrap around your friend Serene, and you can see its sharp nails in some points piercing through her armor, and a bit of blood starts to run down them and start to color the blackish brack water of the swamp around her. What do you do? I cannot hear you. I cannot my, hear you. My dog muted my my mic. Yep, that's that's totally what happened. Your dog yeah, ate right. your homework. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna hit it with word of radiance. Because I'm still away from it. It's a constitution saving throw. Word of radiance is affects creatures directly around you, right? Let me double check before I get all crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Range is so utter a divine word. And yep. So it's it's basically it. everything within five right. feet of you is affected. Okay. You could run up and you would be able to position yourself in a way that that would affect the creature and not Saran. Yes, that is what want I would to do. do. That you can run up and just admonish it. Yes, make it feel <laughs> bad. Shame on you. <laughs> shame. She's an idiot. <laughs> shame. Yeah, but I, I have blessed. So I get to, do I add to that or no? You no, because it's a constitution no saving throw. Unsaved, yeah. Um, all right, I'm rolling with my brown cracker dice. Brown cracker dice. Um, this creature seems enormously hearty. Um, the constitution saving throw, I have an 18. Okay, can I stab it with a dagger or something as a bonus action? Only if you take the attack action. Can you make, or if you have a specific class feature, can you make an offhand attack? So, unfortunately, not. It has not heeded the the admonition of the Raven Queen. Unfortunately. Rude. So rude. So, so Do you have rude. any bonus action spells? That's what I was so, checking. Do you the have spiritual weapon? One uh, Sorry, which one? Inflict wounds. Yeah, but you already use your action. Do you have spiritual weapon? Not on her level. She's one row set to cleric. Okay. In that case, I think. I have a healing word. 
Yeah, it's up to you, but it would only be bonus action spells you can cast at this point. Uh, uh, unless Sarayan is hurt and needs it, then... Uh, just a little bit, yeah. She's I got, mean... She's got six hit points. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you... if Honestly, if you don't, I will. Okay. Uh, both I will both you. might help Here's... her. Alright, sounds like she's holding on to it. No. That'll bring us to Prion. And Eris uh, doesn't like me that much, yeah. <laughs> she's like, a friend is a strong word. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Prion again looks to the uh, the bird who comes in and flies in, and he will charge in in aid of uh, in aid of Saran, and again fire down the thunder through his trident. The seagull. Seagull. Sea uh, why is this not working? It usually works first time for me. It's all good. There was an update, and it changed some things. It's done. Uh, that, uh, did that it's work? all good. Um, as we. I don't know why it doesn't want to do it. So hang on a minute. I'm gonna try. There we go. There it is. Uh, it's critical. I'm seeing a critical hit from Prion. That's a critical. So that is one hand. It's at seven. Plus six. It's a thirteen damage. Very nice. That's like a that's a that's a big crit based on your damage dice. So yeah. cool. Ooh, yeah. And I will second wind and go in again. Can you second wind? Can you do it again? Not second wind. Sorry. Uh, what's the other one? Action surge. Action surge. Oh, fighters. Second second wind. Fighters, yo. Uh, Thirteen. 16 to hit. Oh, the waters of Volker will steer your hand in the right direction. Yes, they will. Another 8 damage. Will hit. Another 8. Huge turn from Prion there, wielding his trident and dealing 21 damage total. Very nice. Anything else for you? Um, nope. Melvin, you see that the creature has run away and then your, um, some of your martial, more martial fighters have run after it. The paladin, the fighter, and the um, cleric rogue are all up there, tangling with it. What do you do? Um, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep writing down my notes on, on their battle styles, and I'm taking notes on each of my, my companions now. Um, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna point at it again, and I'm gonna shoot another ray of frost out of the tip of the quill before I go back to writing. Um. Uh, let's say 21 to hit. Absolutely. For another two points of cold damage and reduced <laughs> speed. <laughs> Interesting. Cool. Um, yeah, two so more points of cold damage. You see this little eruption of um, ice upon its shoulder, which seems to uh, cause it some pain as it just kind of expresses its displeasure in a growl. The... It's, yeah, and it's very interesting to see um, those of you familiar with magic see no focus or anything normally. Um, there is, in fact, just out of the quill and out of the book itself, the magic seems to be erupting for Melvin's casting. Very cool. Nether. So in quite the opposite, um, you see the coalesced mist that has this sort of ineffectual troll. <laughs> All of a sudden returns to mist and sort of sucks back into her staff and she pushes it out again and there's a slight sonic boom as a blast of power comes streaking across the water. I'm going to roll this with advantage using my um, inspiration from last game. Aha! I have rolled a 14, um, which with my plus to hit is a 19. Um, oh, yeah. And I did nine points of force damage. Very cool. You have seen these sort of bolts uh, of energy that Nether has fired before, but now they seem to come with a enhanced accuracy. You don't hear Mariah anymore quite instructing Nether as before. They seem to know where the target is. And that is my pain. turn. Mariah! Well, when something works, why mess with the recipe? So um, I will 
uh, focus on the troll and hum this same discordant melody um, and send it out uh, to hear his ears only um, for another uh, dissonant whispers. And um, as it is making its um, wisdom saving throw against this horrible dissonant sound, um, I'm gonna yell across the swamp at it, um, because I believe I can use a reaction on my turn, um, and, uh, say, um, You have a really shitty home! I need to work <laughs> on my insults, um, uh, as a cutting words. <laughs> oh. Uh, which means that he- Can you rolled... do it on a saving throw? Uh, oh. I think I that's I a, I think that's the, uh, thing. the new, uh, feature for the eloquence bar. So. Never mind. I totally misread my own class ability. It's all good. You know what? That happens sometimes. Um, oh, could you do when you're that? Building an eloquence bard for a different project. Um, so I'm gonna yell at it anyway, because Mariah is practicing her insults, um, <laughs> and continues to not be good at that. The, um, the insults have no effect. However, um, with a nice little five on the dice, he does not anywhere near succeed versus okay. the Dissonant Whispers. Cool beans. Well, this time around, uh, to counter the wonderful luck I had the first time I cast this spell, um, I only rolled nine psychic damage. Um, but he does, once again, need to run the fuck away. <laughs> And it's and funny, I'm... the uh, bolt that Melvin hit him with seems to slow him down to an... <laughs> starts to sort of slow motion run away through the swamp, um, making it... Is it by 10 feet, or is it re speed reduced by half, Melvin? 10 feet. 10 feet? 10 feet, yeah. yeah. So it runs 20 feet away. It takes another 11 damage, and it's, as it explodes in a thunderous roar. Booming blade action. That was my um, critical. The booming blade was also critical. Nice. Um, uh, I don't. Yeah. Is it, I do not believe that that would double. It doesn't come from the attack. The later. It's all dice rolled on the critical roll, which was when I cast booming blade, wouldn't it? I don't know. Right. It, but... it won't. I don't think it'll affect the okay. secondary damage. No idea. But nonetheless, we can take the eight damage. Oh. Thank you. Very generous. And anyone else have a, uh, let's see, what was it? A nine, which I did an eight. Oh, and I'll attack of opportunity as well. Both Inaris and, yeah, you would. Oh, what would the damage? Ah, oh, minimum damage, four off. It's four, you kind of stick into its heel, which is thick, but it does just barely get through both um, Talise and Inaris, I believe, if you would wish to, if you have weapons drawn and would wish to take this attack of opportunity, you can. Yeah, I would definitely hit it with my short sword. Whap, whap. Sorry, um, I did mean Serene. No, never mind. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I no, do not, not believe you charged forward with the crowd. She did. <laughs> Inaris did. She went and done yeah, a right I mean, in the oh, Yeah, oh, Inaris. Inaris. I, uh, that's why I was like, I was like second row. That's was like, well, Talise is still backlining or middle lining, something like <laughs> middle that. midfield. <laughs> midfield, <laughs> midfielder. Yeah, midfielder. Um, I rolled an eighteen for my longsword. Cool, that hits. Ooh, twelve points of damage. That's a big hit. Mm-hmm. And how about four? Um, Inaris. No, not my short bow. Ignore that. I clicked the wrong one. I want my short sword. Just lost short and went for it. <laughs> 16. All right. So between these two, um, Prion kind of shoves his trident into the heel, which stops it in its tracks, and it kind of doubles over. Um, uh, Sarayan and Inaris, the two of you working together on this single attack of opportunity, how do you wish to dispatch this troll from the swamp? Inaris, you first. 
<laughs> Gladly. I'll slice it up real good with my sword and attempt to just stab it in the neck. All right, she does so. And Sarayan? So I'm imagining that Sarayan is still in the palm of this yeah, troll's it's in hand. Yeah, both hands. Yep. Yeah, and so she, as she has been in its clutches, is like reaching behind, trying to get a hold of her sword and her longsword. She pulls it out with a sigh of relief internally, probably externally as well with the crushing of the hand. And she goes ahead and she just like stabs straight into where she hopes the jugular will be. Indeed, it drops you as you're kind of looking for this based on Anaris' strikes as it kind of reels back. And as it's going forward, you're dropped down into the swamp, raise your sword up after her strikes and just pierce it right under its overly oversized jawbone. Hell and it yeah. falls into the liquid. Bye. Game set and match. Well, well done, everyone. Y'all are very impressive. Sorry, I couldn't help more. Oh, did you? Did get you... Some good notes? Yeah, yeah, I, I got some Is good it... notes. Can I look at those later? Definitely. Yeah. Maybe um after you stop profusely bleeding into the swamp. Yeah. Would you? Would you? Would you like me to fix that for you? Uh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to walk over and take a look at the body. Yeah. And Sarayan limps towards, um, oh my god, beautiful, beautiful. How dare you? I want to say Inaris, I know it's not right. It Just is think Talise. My actual it's name. Talise. There you it's go. It's not Teralisa. It's Talise. <laughs> As you look at it, Melvin. Good god. Suddenly, there's a flare of um, red energy from the eye. It quickly gets to its its um, knees and reaches out with two claws as you are about to inspect it and tries to eat you. It looks as if its wounds have closed. So I, it I killed it with, with magic. Before. Did you? There's one thing to kill it, so. Uh, what? It looks dead. What? It gets up. Damn. It did look dead. Damn. It got by uh -huh. Yeah. It's fun to play. It's, it's fun to play with with the with the Dungeon and Dragon. Um, uh, What's that? Nope. What are you saying? Never mind. Nope. Don't listen to me. Here gets Gabby. Get Gabby. Get Yes, well put. Already got it. To that. Mm -hmm. Uh, so are, wait, are Melvin, we, so are it we... gets up and starts attacking again. Melvin, it first attack is a twenty-one. Yeah, that'll hit. Second Wait. is a 19. Yeah, that'll also hit. I was gonna try to get So... We have a Wait, are we so still... This... We're still in initiative, yeah, it's still going. Okay, um... so I hadn't... He's top so of the my turn got skipped? Oh. Because we stopped... I didn't get to go. Indeed, it may have been a bit of trickery at this point. I left some time for thinking through, but it sounded like we were sitting there and investigating the body. You did not know that at the start of its turn, its wounds would begin to close. Would you Sorry. tell me honestly, Teresa, would you have done something to um, further? Yeah, I was I was just picking which of my healing spells to use. That's all I was. My, that's that's totally my fault. You can use a healing spell here retroactively if you would like. Yeah, on okay, your turn. Then I'm definitely then I'm going to do cure wounds then on Serayan. On. OK, and uh... Serayan. DM, I think you mispronounced Teresa's name. It's Telerisa. Teleresa, <laughs> excuse me. My oh, bad. Teleresa on the <laughs> So admitted. Oh, oh no. Uh, okay. I'm sorry. I apologize for everything. Yes, yeah, so I rolled for um eight for cure wounds on Serena. Eight hit points back to Serena. Cool. Um uh, Does the troll make a third attack? Or is He's thinking about it. It depends on what's happening, though. Um, so, Melvin, you've got a 15 and then an 11 points of damage coming. Are you still conscious? No. He no, throws you down into oh! the muck. And then wheels around and looks towards you and Neris. Of course he who are... does. What's that? I said, of course he does. And tries to bite you. 
does so with an 18 to hit. The jaws come and crunch down around you, dealing 10 points of piercing damage. It seems that something about this being's body is just constantly regenerating. There's an unnatural health to it that seems to be continuing to heal it, reform the structures of its flesh and everything. It looks very hurt, but it is not dead. Inaris, it is your turn. It has just sunk its teeth into you. Um, and also, though, I will say, though, um, Sarayan or... Um, Mariah or Nether, in honesty, would you have done support spells or healing spells or something, assuming that the enemy was dead in between there? I will also say that, give you the chance to do it. So well, that, all of that had happened technically on my turn. I did stuff, so I don't think I would have had the opportunity okay. to do anything. Cool. The Rayan really was quite simply worried about getting up to date notes on fighting styles of other people. So no. Okay. <laughs> Noted. Thank you for your honesty. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Daenerys, it sounds like we're back to you. Yes. Um, I'm trying to figure out, can I use my channel Divinity Path to the Grave to curse this mofo? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I don't know how it's to do that. It's a grave cleric, correct? You give yes. it um, vulnerability to the all damage of the next attack? Yes. Awesome. So how do you call upon the Raven Queen to um, assert her will over this creature? I will hit it with, a, with the edge of my short sword to draw blood, and I will call out to the Raven Queen and ask her to take this monstrosity back to her realm. Okay, so you see her... Um, draw the blade and then she sort of flicks it into the air and these blood droplets whoosh, kind of turn into a burst of black feathers and then the creature's eye go wide for a moment as it feels its heart beat slow I believe that is an action I believe it is yes it is one action Rion you are up um unless Inaris wants to use her bonus action to keep the wizard from dying we do see the poor wizard unconscious in the muck. Uh -uh. Yes. Oh. And I use my Spare the Dying as a... You can't. That's, that's an action, Spare the Dying, isn't it? I think it's... Uh, I was about to say, I think it's... Uh... Great no, player. it's a bonus action. Spare the Dying is a oh, bonus action. Nice. Yep. Yep. So she simply looks over and sort of waves away the, um, the path to the grave that he is on, and he stabilizes. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Well, as now we're at the beginning of the round, close enough, a massive thank you to Pixie for donut. Oh, gosh, she's just come in again as well. Are you worried about them, Pixie? <laughs> Pixie's just come in with $9 to let's get 3d6 inspirations going. So if you want to roll that, Peter. And then on top of that, she's also donated another $10 for 2d20 inspirations. All right, so the D6s, so, uh, for three D6s, um, Talise, please roll a D20 with me. I still have a D6. She still has it, yep. Okay, then I get yep. one. Ooh, Very cool. Oh. As well as um, uh, Mariah and Melvin? Uh, I already have already... one from the previous one. Oh, dear. So these, oh, are, these, these are D6s, so it goes down to yeah. Sarayan after that. So Sarayan, Peter. Melvin. Thank and Melvin. You. <laughs> Oh, so D6s, right, cool. and I roll again for two D20s. Done. Uh, Inaris yes. and Sarayan, you Sorry. are fully inspired. What? D20 inspired. A thank massive you. thank you, Pixie. <laughs> we love Pixie. you guys. Thank you very much. We love you. <clears throat> All right, Priya. Okay. What are you going to um, do about this? My bird comes in again, swoops down, and again, I feel the thunder going through the trident. Don't hear that phase very often. Uh, 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 often oh. enough, anyway. Often enough, yeah. Uh, 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 I'm assuming we've still got Bless going, but it's probably not going to be enough with a 15 to hit. He's prone, though, isn't he? Or is he getting up now? Oh, would have mattered, uh, He anyway. has gotten up. It was a 15 was enough, yeah. Oh, it's 15 enough. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank God for that. Um, I hit him uh, for a maximum of 9 damage. 
Ooh, all right. He is on his last leg, his second last leg. Anything else? Uh, I call out to Talise to get the wizard. Get the wizard! Get the wizard! Melvin, you are stable and unconscious. <laughs> Nether. Nether uh, sits on a root, disoriented as uh, her perspective is whirling as her line, her, her visible sight, uh, whirls around as what she can see comes down and invisibly spirals around this creature. Um, I'd like to make a nature check to see if I can figure out just what we need to do to keep this thing down. Sure, as your action, you may. Yes. And I'm going to use my d6 inspiration. So that's going to be a 19 total. 19 total. Um, you have um, heard of particularly nasty um, molds and, um, well, mold that sometimes will start growing in the bilges. Um, almost impossible to get rid of. And sailors would often call it, refer to it as troll skin. And they do that because they say, it's like burning through troll skin. So they, they, the phrase is like burning through it, but it's strange because they would always use vials typically of acid or extremely acidic substances to take care of it, to eat it off the side of the um, bilges. That was the way that you could take care of troll skin. The way that your familiar is seeing this skin just close up and the even broken bones and gashed throats sort of just reclose makes you think that the um, absolutely absurd growing properties of troll skin um, mold is directly related to trolls themselves. He calls out, acid, fire, something like that. It's our only chance. <laughs> and that's my turn. Mariah. Uh, I hear Nether's uh, screaming this information and I think to myself, all right, can't cast anything with fire. Can't, mm, what do I got, what do I got, what do I got, what do I got? Oh, um, I'm gonna reach down into my, uh, the bag of holding. I'm gonna pull out a torch um, and use my tinderbox to light it. Um, <laughs> and I don't know what my action economy here is. I will either attempt to chuck it or just run forward with it so that I can baton pass it to someone who has a turn. I love the idea of the of the uh, Olympic torch uh, going through the marshes. I'm picturing here. that Uruk High from, from Two Towers. Bring it down! The one time that he can't just put an arrow through something's eye from yeah. 2,000 meters. That dude had plot um, armor. Poor, poor, yeah. Anyway, so you see Mariah running forward. Item interaction, I will say, Mariah, to light the torch. Um, okay. it seems right to me. So uh, running forward, you have a lit torch. Okay. Can I, can I get Improvised to weapon it? attack? So um, uh, Sure, yeah. Let's do that. And I will use my inspiration, my d20 inspiration on this die roll. <laughs> um, so I, should I just roll an unarmed attack here? Uh, is that what you're... Yeah, yeah, okay. that, that should um, do it. All righty. Uh, let's do this. Fingers crossed, y'all. Uh, did it go? Did it go? Did it go? Uh, that's a 14, and I'm going to use also my D6 inspiration. Uh, so that's coming to a total of 16. <laughs> The D6 inspiration will do it as you focus just a little extra hard and shove that torch sort of into the flesh and you can see the insides as well as the flesh start to sort of combust and begin um, uh, and begin flaming all over. It had one hit point left. Oh, big up. We're gonna call this enough. And Yay! having been damaged by fire, the regeneration will not take effect and the troll will begin to burn and die in earnest. Oh, okay. See, that Thank looks a you. little bit more dead. Go it does. Extra, and extra relax. Dead. Well, we yeah, that's how we know that it's dead when the music changes. Uh, 
I wondered uh, how we knew. All right. Well, before anything else, I will be casting Cure Wounds. Yeah. Let's let's get the let's get the Twiggy boy up. Melvin. Seventeen. Probably puts him <gasps> on the floor. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Wow, it's a thing is coming back to life. <laughs> <laughs> this one's okay though. This was this was on purpose. I'll, this is an uh, okay reach coming back. And, uh, help Melvin to his feet. You all right there, kid? Uh, yeah, that hurt a lot. It's entirely are, are understandable. You, uh, is it dead? Are you gonna write about it? It's very dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna write about it. Yeah. That's why you stay just covered in your own blood. It's okay. It's it's waxed. I just brush it off. That's such a good idea. And Sarayan does a little bit. She dips into her lay on hands bowl for five points of HP to herself. <sighs> well, this doesn't look to me like a giant lizard with uh, thousands of teeth. So I think we still have a challenge or two ahead of us. Why? Should we rest a little? Recoup. Definitely. Yeah. Let's maybe find a place that's a tad more dry and take a breather, shall we? I'll look around. Take your pick. <laughs> Sounds good. Can I borrow your notebook uh, when we get somewhere? Or we can just, I can look at your notes. Yeah, definitely. Thanks, um, how, how did you guys kill it? So oh, that it didn't, uh, you know, I come pulled back. Up my torch. Oh, fire! I never was... said hit it with fire or acid. Oh, okay. I, Neither, I how did don't you know think that? I was awake for that. Oh, you hear things. Okay. <laughs> As one does. Neither isn't really quite sure. Actually. I look around for a super place to rest. <laughs> okay. I can make a survival. I'll check. help. Is Bless still it. going for this? I oh, know it doesn't it doesn't go on Bless, does it? No. Nope. I I are you helping me? Are you? Yes. Roll at advantage. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> roll at advantage. <laughs> uh, uh, I advantage. A I rolled a twenty-four. <laughs> the advantage, Shimmy. As the 24. French say, avantage. Yeah. Avantage. <laughs> avantage. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at the structures of the trees, you are able to find an area that is raised enough for the seven of you to sit fairly comfortably for some time. How about over here? Well, I'll help Nether up. Um, I've, I'm, I'm doing all right, actually. You sure. Um. Well, yeah. I appreciate it though and as she steps up you see uh, as parts of the tree sort of rise to meet her foot and she's able to sort of climb up the tree and she sits on a part of the tree where the bark actually just sort of comes out and makes a seat for her interesting doesn't doesn't even appear that she realizes it's happening oh it's so cool anyone else I'll offer to help anyone up. Sure, I'll, I'll take a hand. Thank I'll, you. I'll, I'll take yeah. that help. Oh, yeah, we help go, them. I, I was just having fun. Dry bottoms all around. I'm a big girl. <laughs> Don't okay, want a soggy there. bottom. Oh, no soggy bottoms oh. here. <laughs> okay, and Baby, will you, will, you, will you help me up? Just, I don't want to climb. I'll help you up. And Ara okay. obviously doesn't want do help, it. but I, I think Peter this. should make, uh, make a uh, athletics check for that. Just, ah! just to be fun, but yeah, I, I help, every, I help everyone up. <laughs> they didn't <laughs> stab you. And I says, I don't need around. your help. So I was like, good, I please, Peter, make her make her an athletics check. <laughs> she gonna stab you. <laughs> you did, you did such a good job with your skill check finding an area to hide. Everyone can get up there plenty easily. Okay. <laughs> I climb. Oh, so it's very nice of you, very knightly of you to uh, help everyone up. Pull out some dry rations and sit there just to chill out and take a bite. And is this a short rest, friends? Long That's rest? My plan. That's, is this an is this an official short rest or is this just this is an rest? official short rest? All if right. We can. This, awesome. This is an official short rest that I'm gonna um, 
pull out my uh, handy dandy blue violin and I'm just gonna start plucking away and you know humming a little tune under my breath as a humming 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 I'm gonna um, sing along. On a practical note, if you are rolling any hit dice, you may roll an additional d6. Damn. Oh, wow. Okay, well. A it's song well, of rest. Now I definitely. A song of rest and. If the damage allows us to swamp. Rest. An additional d6. You may take a short rest. Everything seems quiet for the most part. Scared away by that thing. Gonna roll my HP with my cool with, Kraken dice. Oh, with Kraken dice. Wow, that's a good choice. Kraken. I, would, I know. I would want to go maximum. If you guys want to roll hit dice with Kraken dice, I don't want to think exclamation point them. giveaway in the chat. We're giving some yeah. away. Yes, yeah. please join. We are very lucky to be sponsored by them. So we give away lots and lots of dice every week to every show so lots and lots of shows so please Kraken. i love that it's gonna make mark kraken dice as well we'll bring up their website okay. um their stuff is fantastic so please head over there and spend all of your money on that <laughs> <laughs> on dice who doesn't want to spend I all their do, money on dice i do love it the the set that they very kindly sent me one of the ones it's 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 like it's perfect for my character for this for this campaign i'm so excited it's like it's perfect love it <laughs> cool all right so after about an hour so um you feel you have patched your wounds caught your breath the um form of the troll sinks down into the bog and um Sarayan wants to go talk to Melvin about what he gleaned from watching the fight. <laughs> we don't have to RP that, just like know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> if we want to move on, I, mean, I understand. <laughs> um, Are you just, just ask Serenin. him what the bog tasted like when he was face down in the ground? <laughs> um, so did you get any good notes about the flavor profile of the bog water or <laughs> well, well, <laughs> some I, tasting I, notes? <laughs> I, I think it's pretty tannins. pretty heavy on the tannins. Um, it, it's, uh, I wouldn't recommend it, honestly. It's kind just of dries out the back of your tongue. Yeah. It's, yeah. A little little vegetal. <laughs> That's oh. something I always I look for in a beverage. I don't vegetal. like that word. <laughs> David, what what would be the highlight from Melvin's notes in this combat? Do you think? Yes. Um. Kill trolls with fire. <laughs> um, stab them with tridents, and um, swords don't work quite so well. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd piece that one together, sadly. But it's it's good that now there's, you know, it's written down so it can be codified and understood. So thank you for that. And and next time mean? we're gonna go fight a troll, I'll make sure to prepare some f fire spells for us. Smart, smart. Not like there was a thriving oral tradition of passing along information before, you know, everything got written down in books. <laughs> exactly. That's why we write things down. Mm. <laughs> Make sure we don't forget anything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sarayan is right over your head. <laughs> clearly feeling much better as she's just scribbling <laughs> furiously. Also, for what it's worth, my crack and die <laughs> dice, dice ah, are perfect for me generally in life because they have little butterflies in them. Oh, that's adorable. I know, and little oh my gold God. specks and then pink glitter. <laughs> so, oh I mean, goodness. could they be better for me as a human? I don't think so. Thank you, Kraken Dice. <laughs> okay. All Sorry, right. as you I just continue, love them. Are you continuing you after your, yeah, on your quest uh, now? Let's press on further into the swamp mm -hmm. if no one else has any objections. I'm continuing to check in with everyone because yeah. uh, apparently we're a democracy. We so, are a democracy. Yes. This 
water while carried here by um, kind of by the waiting of the troll you find a this is this brackish water is sort of an arm penetrating deep into the swamp um, you're able to follow it the source of this um, uh, pollution and soon you see the ground actually begin to slope downward with the bog and there's a tangle of marshy trees there's a blanket of mist covering the ground you squish your way into the shallow valley and ar arrive at a pool this one the water you were looking at but distilled into the essence of this putrid black oily water the pool is about 60 feet in diameter and shaded by a canopy of vines and twisted branches there's a gurgling stream at the north feeding the pool a few yellowed bones are visible in the shallows, and you can see a great muddy mound rising from the pool's center. There are bits of debris, um, other bits of ground all around that you can see just poking through this. Um, whoops. Uh, just poking through the ground here. Now, who has a um, passive perception of 15 or higher? Those of you who do see far to the um, southwest and far to the northeast, some of these large vines looming overhead seem to move. Oh. And these are massive vines, almost. Those, those ones that work their way up the tallest trees that almost become thick like the tree branches of um, uh, like the branches of trees themselves, but they move. They seem to be enormous snakes hanging out in the canopies. Two of them, at least. And, but you seem to have come, most certainly, you see little rivulets of this black water flowing out from this area. This is the epicenter of the contamination. GM, do we have to go past them to get where we're going? You do not, but you are aware they are there, slithering around in the canopy. Are they aware that we're here? Um, that is hard to say. Uh, you can make a... Um, I suppose an animal handling or maybe even a perception check to see if... This would have to right be here. through someone else's senses, so... Um, I'm, I, I mean, I could, do, I could do a perception. And if anyone wanted to um, me. Sure. It's going to be difficult because you see uh -huh. the snakes, they're moving, but knowing whether or not they know you're there is a tough check. Okay. What if, what so if something, what if something was right next to them, looking at them invisibly? Um, you could try. Is this a perception check or a what? Uh, let's do, or animal handling might give you a better idea. And if you're up close, that would be. So just a wisdom give you check. more information. So I'm, is this my senses or is it? Um, Are you looking? Mm, I will say your it, senses. It, yeah, right. This, the, the ability through, does yeah. say, all right. Animal handling? Yes. Uh, Prion with an 11 perception, you s you actually can't see them <laughs> when they're pointed out to you. My yeah, my <laughs> passive saw them, but was, that was more to Oh, your passive saw yeah. them, but you look and you can't I get can't any further detail. Yeah. Well, that's his 13. Uh, 13, it's strange because they move their heads around, they flick their tongues out repeatedly, but um, they don't seem to be looking at you, but you also they also feel at the ready, so... Um, whether how, how a snake perceives the world, yeah. they might know you're there. They don't look calm or like they're sleeping. So, so Nether returns to herself. I think we might be able to sneak past these, if that's what everyone is interested in. I can attempt to sneak past them. Muted Mariah, or I didn't hear that at the very least. Oh, that's fine. That probably came out a little quiet. Sorry. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm all for I'm all for that stealth action. And what were you saying, Anaris? Sneak past them. Sneak sure. past them. Sneak past Sneak them. Past. 
I will try my best. Indeed, one of them, as you kind of talk and have this discussion, seems to be we um, sort of a winding its way closer to you. Um, and you can all go into stealth if you would wish. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead and roll those stealth rolls. Nine. Two. Oh, oh, just you wait. Also nine. <laughs> Thirty <I> twenty. <laughs> a four. Ooh. A four. I'm nine and four. Not a great start. But what if you combined <laughs> them? Where's just <laughs> Waldo? Wasn't he gonna teach us how to stealth? Yeah, uh, that, was that us. totally worked well. Because Waldo is so busy being a very good father. <laughs> oh yeah. Maris is also busy. <laughs> uh, I see I see a couple likes. stealth rolls. I need the rest of them though. Um, yeah, I got a I got a dirty 20. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I rolled a 16. 16? Mm -hmm. Cool. Um is that is that everyone? Uh, We've got a bunch I of I didn't them. roll I online. I... I rolled a nine. I didn't figure it was same. I rolled yeah, a two. I used I used my die uh, my Kraken dice, but I got a an, a four and an eight at disadvantage. So. Unfortunately, as you start to move into the swamp here, you get the the um unsettling feeling that the uh giant vines now identified as snakes are following you. Oh, I don't like that. We're still we're not, basically what's happened is we keep looking up at them and we keep bumping each each other and yeah it's kind of like that of you, oh, sorry. you, you bump really someone off and they work. take a step into a pool and <laughs> splash sorry sorry yeah. it's okay i'm so sorry <laughs> sorry everyone sorry oh, i'm not so i'm not the most stealthy person here i'm especially sorry about that yes <laughs> okay <laughs> I, sorry i just i can't Oh, Lord. So with uh, stealth, Nether, Nether, Nether will turn. Nether will turn and um, try to speak with one of these snakes as it's approaching okay. to uh, coming into attack range. Okay. What do you say? You really wouldn't mess with us. We have just defeated a large creature that. Uh, Stank and grew its wounds closed. We are more than a match for you. Cool. <laughs> um, Intimidation, I, maybe? Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. I, that doesn't. Home. That's not trying to negotiate with the animal or anything. I'm going to say, yeah. <laughs> go ahead and roll that in, as intimidation. So I'll roll this one online. Oh, I have double 18s, DM. 18. <laughs> Ooh. All right. uh -huh. They seem to recoil, and um, you now see them. <laughs> and then seem to wind their way further up into the trees. Was that audible to us as, like, words? Like, what we literally heard, or did we just hear, like, <laughs> Like, was this full on parcel time? Time? I believe, yeah. no, that you did hear Nether say those words, but it okay. looked like it was making sense to the animals. They stopped and kind of looked and started flitting their tongues furtively in her direction. All right, furtive tongues. <laughs> that would furtive be the Eldritch tongues. Invocation my Beast Speech. Furtive tongues, my cover band name. I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's or, or it's, not, or it's something else. Uh, You're right, amazing. I'm not. <laughs> I'm nine. Oi, oi, oi. Uh, well, <laughs> good job, Nether. That was very impressive. She does a little curtsy. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Could you all please place yourselves in this um, rectangle that I'm about to reveal? Uh, the rectangle. Ah. Oh, the scared. rectangle of fate. It's a oh. trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. It's a tarp. It's a carp. Oh, well, okay. It's a tarp. <laughs> it's a, it's I'm a tarp. So happy That's my right favorite now. one. Yeah. Oh no, it's a larp. 
Yeah, it's a LARP. <laughs> okay, so um, <laughs> as you guys are doing this, you hear um, Talise. You hear a bit of a um, swishing in the water sound behind where you are all focusing, looking at this, and there's a. <laughs> And you turn around to see um, what look like almost like two little hollow eyes, two oh. um, dark circles just barely above the water. And then it seems to be revealed that they are indeed at the end of maybe a large log or something as a giant wedge shape rises out of the water. Then... Um. Two giant orbs with slits down the middle, yellow in color, looking directly at you. Um, it rises again, parting the water, revealing a pink tongue, old bones caught between what surely must be a thousand crocodile teeth. <gasps> as this thing emerges out of the water and tries to <laughs> snap at you. Mom! Ready? It was There's an alligator in my bedroom. It was silent in absolute with a natural a 20. Killer. Kraken <gasps> dice natural 20 on its stealth roll. And we'll, we will go into combat wow. with surprise around. With some nice <laughs> combat music as well. Indeed. I was getting there. It's, I just, it's kind of. just me screaming on a loop. <laughs> it's me going, ah! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, damn. Nene, save me, Nene. I'm coming. Even though I've got more armor than you do. <laughs> I got you. I got you, boo. All right. I believe we're all up here. <laughs> Beautiful. We'll go down the line here. Melvin, do you have a trait that prevents you from being surprised? Nope. Is Prion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You are full of shit, my good friend. All right. Uh, <laughs> we'll go down to <laughs> um, Thousand Teeth, who will open its jaws and go towards um, our dear Talise. Rude. I know. First, it will um, so rude. Uh, sort of lash out and wrap around it with its tail to hit. Um, fortunately, I only have a 12 on that. That's no fun. And then it uh, will bring the force of its bite down. I have a 20 to hit. Rude. 18 points of piercing damage. Don't like that at all. Oh, she. Oh, she. Oh. Pillow. Pillow. It's a Rayan. Bye, guys. <laughs> oh, oh, God. What? You're surprised. Sorry. Uh... And everyone is surprised unless you have a feature preventing it. Speak now or forever hold your surprisedness. All right, Melvin, back to the top of the round. You are able to regather yourself and see these this enormous set of crocodile jaws clamp down on the Genasi cleric, Talise. Ow. And she's held there, right? Uh, she is not, no. Okay. Um... In in that case, I'm gonna um, uh, I'm gonna step forward, I guess, over to here, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna frantically flip flip through my book to a certain page, um, and turn the book around and point it at the the crocodile, um, and I will be casting uh, th thunder wave. Yes, Thunder Wave, um, from my book. Um, so there will be a large explosion of um, lightning coming out of the book and striking the um, the crocodile. Um, I will be using the uh, creature or the the feature for Awakened Spellbook to change the damage type to a chromatic orb. Okay, um, cool. So uh, what kind of save? It is a constitution save. DC I have a 25. 13. Okay, so he does not get pushed. Um, and he takes half damage, so uh, round up or down? Uh, round down. So five um, lightning damage. 
Okay, I have lightning damage. Got you. <laughs> it sort of wheels its head around and um, looks towards you, feeling a bit electrified. And then it and will... Um, I'd like to step back if I can. I've only used 10 feet of movement. Uh, yeah. I don't know if can. I can split my movement, so... Okay. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step back over there. It will... Um, Oh, no, it won't. All right, there you go. Cool. And at the um, end of your turn, it will sort of release um, Talise from its jaws and then strike at Prion as he readies himself for battle. Damn Make a bite man. attack against you, Prion, for 22 to hit. Um, it would do, but he spins the trident around and a, sh and a, a shimmer appears in shape with the trident. So it's like double uh -huh. shielded. Very nice. And then it, in that case, it deflects and it is your turn. Uh, I'll cast that twice for some reason. Um, okay, the bird comes down again. The seagull comes down and tries to do his deed. And I will go in with another thunderous clap for a 24 to hit with the trident. Mm-hmm. Uh, only for seven damage and then I will axe and surge and use my inspiration that I got Go from last it. last session um, let me just click on axe and surge and I will repeat the same action obviously which is about the booming blade uh, 20 to hit uh, that hits for uh, another eight 15 total. Uh, set, uh, yeah, 15 total. Cool. With a booming blade Both, on uh, it. He is now uh, electrified a bit and now encircled in this energy. Mm -hmm. Anything else from you? That is it. That is it. He doesn't like this either. He is going to retaliate. First, he is Good. going to come at you with his tail. The 26 to hit. That hits. 10 points of bludgeoning damage, and I need you to make a strength saving throw. Yeah, I was preparing. I didn't quite get the chance before you spoke, so you can rule on it to use a cutting words to reduce the damage roll. The damage roll? Yes. That's in the thing. Okay, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, okay, great. Um, your mother was a hamster? I don't know what I'm doing. And uh, uh, here's a, a D do, do I roll the D6? Do you roll the D6? Roll it. You you go ahead and roll no it. sense whatsoever. <laughs> I know. I, I don't think crocodiles can be birthed by hamsters. I don't think completely that different species. Um, An insult. So reduce us. the damage by five. There we go. So All right, five points you. of damage then to you, Priyan. I still Very need much. a um, a uh, strength saving uh, throw. No. Strength saving throw. Strength saving throw. Full team, I'm gonna use my inspiration, my D6 inspiration. Uh, for 16. You are just barely able to keep your footing and not be knocked prone, but it will still bite you. Um, before you crack on, uh, well, carry on, but Pixie Queen's got to go. She's just donated another $10. Thank you very much, Pixie. Pixie. Um, you are ridiculous. Pixie. So that's. We love you. That's either two, See, two inspirations, or no, she said take that. Right, so that's a healing potion, please, Mr. DM. So thank you very much, Pixie, and sleep well. Thank you for being here. Very nice. Okay. Bye, Pixie. Yes, got your father spot of elbows. Elbows. The bite, nonetheless, comes to you, Prion, at yes. twenty-one. Misses. Still my really? turn, and my shield's still up. Isn't it still the same no. round? Was it at the end Until of my the end turn? of your next turn? My next turn, yeah. So, it, what you had your turn though. You attacked twice. You attacked yeah. and did your. You you, you done the lair action and attacked me, and I used shield. Yeah, so, so it I've ended when your shield turn up. ended. I it ended it when your turn. turn ended. Oh, is it? Yeah. Until the start of your next turn. I could start on my He's next. He's only turn. had one turn. I've not had the turn. Uh, I've only had one turn. It's oh. my next turn. Yeah. Wait. <clears throat> did you use the reaction oh, before we, your turn came I... up to cast shield, or was it? It, it was. It turn? was my turn, and he used a lair action yeah. on me. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, my. Uh, it's so my I, fault then. 
it misses. So it's your it's your turn then. Yeah, you did it on my turn, so so yeah, it's, before it's your there turn. Till... Okay. Yep. 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 You're so right. Um. Uh. Hang on. Sorry. I'm. I got. Um. Does it have a lair action? It or does. It a... Okay. It has a legendary action. Legendary. Um, okay. which it used after. Um, Melvin's turn, and then didn't you use your? Isn't? Didn't you use your booming blade twice? Wasn't that your turn? Yeah, it was my turn, and then you used your legendary action on my turn before I got to attack. And you hit me, and I used my reaction. Okay. Yeah? Right. I'm, I'm reading it as well. But... Alright, my... Uh, it's just, yeah, it, my fault. Till the start of, my, of your next turn. So my next turn is next round. Yes. Okay. So this is our second round, right? I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not making that up. I'm sorry guys, but so our, yeah, our second round, but we've because of the surprise round most we right. get to do. So it. your right. first it's turn round. was to your the first opportunity attack came before your first turn, which you shielded. Then you took a turn and cast booming blade twice. Once your turn ended and it became the creature's turn, you no longer had shield up. Yeah, that actually tracks. Unfortunately. He didn't attack on his turn. He done a legendary action. But that depends. On he did it. His he did his legendary action before your turn. Right. Then you had your turn, and now he's attacking you with his turn, his regular yeah. turn. Yeah. Right. So and you the don't legendary have shield action... anymore because this your the end of your turn. So the end of your next turn. Your next turn came after his legendary action. Yeah. Shield is gone. So now it's right. your now. It, it and just then says because it, it says in here the start of your next turn. It's not my next turn yet. So, but yeah, you just on. had your Fair next on. turn. That you was your two your booming turn. blades. Right. You yeah, booming blade. Correct. You did action surge. You booming bladed, and now it's the creature's turn. Your shield yeah. ended when your turn ended. Right. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't it's say actually the, the start, of turn, yeah. start of his turn. Start of my next turn. It's the start of his turn. Yeah. So it hasn't gone yet. It says it in the thing. It starts on my next turn. Well, either either way, it was at um at the end of another creature's turn, so the shield would have run out when you started your turn. Regardless. I'm sorry, but it's... Okay. But we just, did get some bits! On. But you can hey. use your shield again if you want. Is the, I can't, because I've had my reaction. <laughs> I've already cast it. My, you still I have cast it once. What? Yeah. I've cast my reaction this turn. <laughs> this, t this is a whole turn. I'm at the top of the turn. Your I? turn is not the same as round. Yeah. I've, so you yeah, have I've already reaction. used my reaction. Not okay. You haven't. Okay. I'm sorry. We're getting into the nitty gritty, but this is no. this is. Um, no, just carry so carry what, on. Carry on. Okay. All right. You can. I will tell this. You can shield. Okay. If carry you on. would like. In that case, it will miss the um, the as we said the tail missed uh, or the you, the tail hit, but you moved it, and then we uh, shield that. End of its turn, and we go to Saran. Coolsy. So I am going to get up <laughs> in its thousand tooth grill. Um, and actually, I don't know if I'm going to do that. That seems kind of foolhardy. But I am going to kind of sneak up in the back and attempt to slash at one of its little leggies in the back with my longsword. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, poo. oh, Saran! But... <laughs> uh, she's strange. just she's still so nervous at the start of each actual battle. Yeah, I rolled oh. a nine. So, um, unfortunately, it's 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 writhing so fast. It's a giant creature, but the speed it moves with makes it difficult to track down. To sure, I've down. studied this, but in in actuality, it's a little different. It is fair enough. Um, in Neris. Thank you. Is it near enough for me to take a stab at it with my short sword? Absolutely. You're within five feet of it. Perfect. And Neris is going to draw a short sword and attempt to swing at the underbelly of this giant creature. That is a 16. You will hit. Yes. 
is... I can't see it. Ooh, nice. 10 damage. If I get to use my sneak attack. You do. Yes. 10 damage. Eat it. You do slash through the underbelly, and as <laughs> your turn ends, it turns its eye on you and tries to chomp you. Unfortunately, only with a 10. <laughs> I'll block it with my short sword. Not today. Indeed, you bat the um, toothy mouth away. Talise! <laughs> um, I would like to cast Shatter. Um, so it's each creature within a 10 foot radius sphere. So can I cast it over? Oop, I can use the right tool. Can I cast it over kind of off to the side since it's a point of my choice? So you can. can I cast it? So you can like, do it like right here and it will. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That overlaps. So it needs to make a con save of. I was just looking at it and now I. Uh, con save. 13. I have a... Mm, it will seem to be about to take the fullness of this damage and then its eye will open extra wide. It chooses to succeed on this saving throw. It chooses to succeed? It does. Okay, but well then it's going to take half damage, yeah. Roll the damage. Ah! Nice damage though. This sounds like some classic straw nanigans, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I know. Goddamn legendary. I was so excited. I was so excited to cast that and you had to choose to succeed. You still dealt a nice nice chunk of damage there. Still takes huge yeah, but damage. it could have been 18. It could have been 18. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not. <laughs> Mariah. And then I up. would like to no. Okay. Oh, oh, I almost oh, said my oh, own oh, name. Oh. I almost said my own name. <laughs> I have a bonus action. Do you now? Did, did you know I have a bonus action? I do. I Healing didn't. word is a bonus action for me. It's a leveled spell, as is, um, as is yeah. the. So you, you cannot use a bonus action leveled spell on the same turn as an action leveled spell. But I thought I could. No. Unfortunately, well, that's not. a pile of that's a pile of poo. Can we we'll throw the there. rules out for this combat? Negativo. <laughs> <laughs> Damn balancing rules. That's guys. a negative, Ghost Rider. Um, all right, <laughs> let's. Uh, so we'll be moving on. This is Mariah. Sorry, Talise. It's okay. I'm <laughs> um, not actually using movement to do this, but um, you know, gently grabbing Nether by the shoulders and like slowly starting to back up, and I yell over the front line, "Well, we're gonna turn you into shoes." And cast vicious mockery. <laughs> All right. Nice. So, wisdom save, huh? Yeah. While you're doing that, massive thank you to One Red Seventy for three hundred. Is it three hundred bits? Yep. That's a D D six inspiration. And also thank you to Boone's Best Gaming for another D six inspiration. Thank you very much, guys. Much appreciated. Oh, very yeah. nice. Actually, One Red also gifted us a um, hundred bits after that. And another hundred. Thank you very, very much. Yeah. Wow. So that is Prion and Talise that get the D6. Talise, have you still got yours? I've still got mine. Oh, you still got yours? It goes to the next person, Inaris. So I have a D I have a D twenty. Okay, so you got a D six as well as me. Thank you very yeah. much, guys. Thank you. Much appreciated. You guys are the best. <laughs> you thank you guys. So you are all thusly empowered. Um let's see. Mariah, I have... Ooh, I'm going to roll... Nope, I'm not. I have a six as a result. All right, uh, so you take two psychic damage, and uh, this uh, fellow is uh, la, 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 has a disadvantage on its next attack roll. I don't like that. Yeah, I didn't think you would. Um, and let's see here. Um, who's, who's coming up here shortly? Let's say, um, as I'm... Uh, oh, does this thing have reach? Eee, I don't like that idea. Maybe not. I'm not actually gonna move. Um, so I'm not actually backing away. Um, say, so, uh, hey, uh, Freon, this might be a time to, uh, maybe stab it really, really hard and not let it hurt anyone back here. Hi, thanks, bye. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, oh, have a, you know, a D6 of inspiration. <laughs> of the bardic variety. <laughs> Who was that for? Cool. 
for you. Oh, thank you very much. So yeah. I, was, I was laughing Inspired. at the comment in chat. <laughs> <laughs> Nether, we're on to you. Hey, Nether. We're on to you, Nether. <laughs> <laughs> Nether uh, sort of crouches down. She brings her staff down onto the ground. And she says again, as from behind the croc, the mist begins to call us again in spiral, as from it emerges, covered in seaweed and muck, the gigantic form of a bipedal beaver that just <laughs> comes down and whirls around and slaps it with its tail. It is phantasmal force yet again. Phantasmal swamp beaver. Hey, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Interesting. Um, cool. Intelligence saved. <sighs> Use it. Uh, <laughs> negative three. But I, it was going to use its second uh, legendary resistance. Set me up there, David. Do something cool. And who's this, David? Two. Sorry, Melvin. Melvin. <laughs> what we got, Melvin? Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna point my quill at it again and and ray of frost. Go for it. Uh, Where's the fireball? What kind of a wizard are you? <laughs> <laughs> the timid kind. It it's like bastard. Pinpoint precision. Pew pew. Uh, that's a ten to hit. Ten will not do it. Unfortunately, it will no. glance off the hard hide. That's my turn. Prion. Uh, I will rinse and repeat with the bird coming in. There's my actions for the trident. 21 to hit. That hits. And I do a massive. Ma maximum damage. I've got three lots of maximum damages tonight for nine You've off. You've been dishing it, yeah. I have, yeah. Awesome. Um, Again, it's coated in the booming energy. And I can't really I do it. anything else. Yeah, I know. It is its turn. Hmm. You are the one hurting it. Good. It is not smart. Attack me. It will. I'm gonna tail whip you. It's uh, crit, at disadvantage. It? I have a uh, 23. Oh, yeah, that hits. Uh, disadvantage, yeah. Oh, <laughs> At disadvantage. Dang, 24 man. and 23. Wow. Sorry, what was that, Mariah? Oh, just uh, an exclamation of discontent. <laughs> Damn. It's 12 points of damage and another strength saving throw. Strength saving throw, which I also have. I've got a 17, so I won't need to. You keep your feet. And it's going to bite bite at the that was only a 15 so Mrs. that's gonna be it all right saran yes so i am going to use my d6 of inspiration on this next roll to try to slash again you can always decide after sword. but just before you declare the roll so if it looks like it's going to be close you can roll it just before you tell me that that's your final number mm -hmm. so okay okay so i may be doing that depending yes. on how things go <laughs> gotcha i that i like that answer perfect <laughs> okay so my long sword uh, I won't need it. I rolled a 24. You will not. Whoop. And then I would also like to Divine Smite. Yes! Hey! Be, 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 be. What Smite. does it look like as you call down the force of Persona terrible, upon terrible. this... All right. This monstrosity. Yes. So, again, getting her feet, as it were, 
of after all these years of study, um, Sarayan really just like sits strongly in her stance, repositions her hands around the blade, and calls upon Persona as up from the ground, which is nifty thrifty because we have the water around us. You see this sort of like mellifluous, uh, sort of um, like ocean like miasma kind of like wrap itself around the blade. Just imagine it's like my fingies, but it's beautiful, sparkly miasma. Then it wraps <laughs> my. I oh, yeah, sorry. It. Diaphanous. <laughs> J'excuse. Diaphanous. Well, it could be mellifluous. Maybe it's singing beautifully. We don't know. And so then. Aww. 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 That's what's happening. And so then it wraps around the blade. On, and. You go. <laughs> and that is what happens. And so the oh, blade becomes right. sheathed in this sort of like diaphanous, <laughs> glowing <laughs> light. <laughs> I love it. All right. Roll that diaphanous extra 2d8. Oh, this is why you're wrong. Double one. Diaphanous? Diaphanous. Oh, learning so much. <laughs> All right. 12. But 22 points of damage on this thing. Ooh. Very nice. Anything else, Sarayan? Uh, no, that's it. It turns around to bite you after your turn. <laughs> Fair enough. I would too. 22 to hit. That hits. 21 points of piercing damage as oh, it chomps yikes. down upon you. Uh, wow. That's oh, no, bad. I'm down, guys. No, I am fucked. I'm... But you said you could do it yourself. <laughs> you did! She puts up one fingy as she falls to the ground in a heap. <laughs> Good thing Sorry, cares. Mariah, I didn't give you time on that. Is it it's still. Okay. okay, it's up to you. Uh, we already. It's all right. uh, okay. The moment has right. passed. A little grace for poor old me <laughs> in the coming rounds. Perhaps. I will. I will keep that in mind. <laughs> as, thank you. As I'm dealing out the big old damage. Okay, Inaris, no, it you. is your turn. Oh. Hi. Your friend Sarayan has just bit the bog, Die. as it were. Uh, wasting all of my spells by dropping down. Uh, oh. I want to. Such a compassionate cleric. A Those <laughs> Raven Queen <laughs> worshippers are. <laughs> Mm -hmm. They're just like Maris. It's like having Maris back, you know? Well, I guess they're both fine. sides of Maris. <laughs> it's fine. You're fine. <laughs> it is both so sides dying. of Maris. Spare the dying. I will glance over and lob a few words at her and drow calling on the Raven Queen to, uh, not yet. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> the verbal component. <laughs> and I will go at it with my short sword for my action. What's the verbal, verbal part of that spell? Is it like. Well, and I'm going to use my. Uh, D that's exactly it. D6 inspiration. <laughs> or do I want, I want my D20 inspiration, actually. You've already rolled. D twenty has got to be before you roll, but Damn. Um, you D6. can still use the D six if you would like. Okay, D six. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh! <laughs> I'm seeing a six. Yes, enough. Bringing 15. that up to a fifteen to hit, which yeah. will do it. Yes. Yeah. Yay! That damage. Ooh, I was I was concerned. Okay, short sword. Some, and I'll use my sneak attack. That is seven points of piercing damage, slashing it's damage, whatever. continuing to thrash around wildly, but after this and a few other um, uh, doses of damage, the blood is starting to really flow out of this, creating sort of a whirlpool around it. Good. On its last legs. Talis. Um, like unofficially meta how last legs are we talking like the last of the last legs 
Say, or like the that's sub like when last you leg. unofficially meta and answer and asking that question is trying to say like no offense, but it's like <laughs> no offense, but can I can I like though? cast a spell or can I like heal? <laughs> it's up to you. Okay, I'm going to drink one of my healing potions. Okay, that is your full action to do so. Yep, and then I'm going to use my bonus action because I didn't cast a leveled spell. And that is for cure. No, it's not. It's for healing word. And I'm going to cast that on a certain Triton who is face down in the nasty. She's still she got is. one hand up in the air, one pinky. Just just one. Well, now you got five because I gave you four extra. Oh! <laughs> face down in the nasty. That one's going to stick around for a while. Oh, <laughs> oh that's definitely getting clipped. <laughs> Okay, yeah, oh. if we ever get, like, jackets with quotes, that one's gonna be mine. <laughs> mm. Yikes. No, oh, just yeah. no! <laughs> Mariah! Tied that or swamp fever. <laughs> um, I'm happy to say I am not face down in the nasty. Um, oh. I will uh, whistle mm. my uh, now becoming familiar discordant tune. Um... <laughs> and my eyes flash with a uh, purple light as I uh, I need a wisdom save from this poor crocodile um, against a dissonant whispers. I've got an eight. All right. Uh, is, is, are you are you choosing to succeed? Is is there any any business? I, here? I okay. wish I wish I could. It wishes it could, but <laughs> all it right. Cannot. Then that's uh, fourteen psychic damage, and it Ooh, you've got some big whispers tonight, and. <laughs> I will say this, Mariah. The final blow is yours. It had exactly 14 ah, hit points remaining. Delicious. So these whispers will somehow convince this ancient crocodile beset with rage and eternal hunger to simply die. Wonderful. I'm okay with that. <laughs> that you see the um, uh, sort of a pair of explosions in the... the um, sort of cat's eye, reptilian yellow eyeballs as suddenly the um, the blood vessels <laughs> spurt out like um, like fireworks. One, <laughs> two, as there's some type of massive internal hemorrhaging and it just simply <laughs> lolls over to the side and <laughs> slips back into the swamp, mouth agape, ready to chomp once more. I cr try to That's grab the it. power of music, friends. <laughs> try to grab it before it goes too deep. Power of discordant music. Sure, you yeah, can. You can reach down and grab it. It's very large, but you can keep it at least from slipping back down. Yeah. Should, For a brief moment, take... there's a visage of this huge beaver that disappears. <laughs> <laughs> yes, beaver. I did uh, something. <laughs> you were great, Nether. Yeah. <laughs> I, I tried to pull it um, out of the muck. Yeah, how are we gonna prove that we did it? It's God. huge. We're gonna take it. How we we have to bring it thing? back with us. It's dead. Um, I can. How how long did it take us to get here, DM? Uh, minus um, the shepherds. now you're looking at about actually probably about five hours. You had to go a bit after the troll encounter too, and you rested in the middle. Right. Um, I I think I can probably get it there. It'll just take us a little bit longer to get back. Excellent. You have teleport. Uh, uh, no, but I, I think I have a way that I can take the body with us. Without one of us having are you gonna, to carry it. Are you going to levitate it? So it's, yeah, something like that. Oh, that works. Okay. Somebody help me get this out. I'm going to use all my strength to try and help. I'll oh, also yeah. help too. Ah! <sighs> I'll watch. Told you I'm a big girl. I'll do this. <laughs> yeah. Those snakes still leaving us alone? They are. You didn't. Ha we didn't have to add those to the encounter because of the. Uh... Oh, I did help. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Yay. Um, DM, I'm going to ritual cast uh, mm -hmm. Tensor's floating disc. Wow, an excellent use of that spell. <laughs> Transporting a large ancient crocodile corpse back through the How much spot. does it hold? It's um, five, 500 pounds, I think. Yes, 500 pounds. It weighs 
four hundred and ninety-eight pounds. <laughs> we could always cut the head off, and one of the stronger people could carry the Indeed. head if they needed. It would, whether or not you um, butcher it up a bit, maybe that carries the head, or that you, with the help of tensors, there will be no um, difficult checks required to haul the rest of the crocodile back. I'll, I'll just have to, you know, take like 10 minutes to recast it every hour or so to get us back. If we do cut off the head, the nether can ride as well. <laughs> Just got to throw that out there. And who's going to carry that? Are you carrying. bringing the whole body or just the head? Well, I wanted to face on it. I think we should probably, we don't know what the decapitation process for head mounting is. So maybe we should sort of let, let the lizard artisans <sighs> take care of that. I, they wanted to eat it. Let them eat it. They wanted to eat the body, but they wanted to mount the head. Did you see that collection she had on her wall? Just saying, oh, if I you did. cut the head off oh. and somebody carried the head, then I could ride on the body on or the Or you dish. could just get a piggyback from someone. I want to ride on the disc. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, by, the, by the way, the disc looks like a giant book that's open to a middle oh page. Oh my god. Hi. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'll carry the head. A thousand if, uh... teeth is the centerfold. All right, um... So Nether can ride the disc. <laughs> wow. Saran begins immediately trying to slash its head off. Make sure you do a clean job. <laughs> I mean, this we we do need to be able to see it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know the um you know measured maneuvers of this Triton Paladin that you saw before kind of devolve into just a. <laughs> Ah, she just hacks off the head. It will take oh. some time, but she will be able to. <laughs> In the meantime, being Glad splattered with crocodile blood. Crocodile Ugh. tears. Yummy! Face down in the nasty. She's, face she's down face down in the nasty. <laughs> And There's I think we have our episode title yeah. for today. <laughs> if it's not that, if that's not the title for tonight, it has to be Swamp Beaver. Those are the two choices. Oh, Swamp, Swamp, Beaver. Swamp, Beaver Swamp Beaver is coming. Is going to make another appearance. Swamp, Swamp Beaver, Colin, Beaver. face down in the nasty. Hey, yeah, <laughs> yeah you. <laughs> oh my god. We can't uh, do that. We're going to get gonna banned. I'm going to write a web comic <laughs> about that. Swamp Beaver, face down in the nasty. <laughs> Can that be the blog? Can that be the Jade, next blog post uh, title? I'm expecting some art for my comic. <laughs> Otherwise, you will just get stick figures. Which oh, is aesthetic. God. But no. <laughs> you will make it back to the lizard folk lair, and you I have people. nothing left to top that. So you that people. is where we are going to call it for the night as you guys like, get away from arrive me. heroically <laughs> back <laughs> to. <laughs> the lizard folk lair so good job yes. guys